So, you're the Descartes gang leader, huh? And you're the Mad Dog. Mad Dog Sawamura. I see you took really good care of my buddy over uh, there. That was not uh, cool. Yeah, not cool. <laughs> <laughs> so in return, I brought you a little present. Say hi. My demon right hand! It's <laughs> You're the man, Seiji! I'm totally grateful! Next time you call me to bail you out, make sure there's someone worthwhile to fight. I don't like beating the crap out of wimps. <laughs> Thank you very much! <laughs> uh, excuse me! Huh? Uh. Hi! Will you be my girlfriend? I would really appreciate it! Sorry, I, I, I already have a boyfriend. 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 Uh, uh, uh. Damn it! And that's the game. The Mirror Stars lose again. 21 losses in a row. What a slump! Stop! I'm only up to 20! This time next week, it's Ultramarin! I'm Seiji Sawamura. For 17 years and two months, I've had no girlfriend. Girls have turned me down 20 times straight and counting. Bring me another plate of spaghetti! Jeez, come everywhere you go. Makes me sick. Ha. Hey, big bro! How many times have I told you I'm not your big brother? You got a girlfriend yet? Buzz off, Shiori. Shoo, shoo. You know, I could be your girlfriend. <laughs> That's not funny! Bye bye! Pathetic. Just pathetic. All I want in life is a girlfriend, like every other guy at school. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> so what if I'm good at fighting? All the guys at school are scared of me, so naturally the girls are too. Three years of high school and the rest of my life for that matter are gonna end with no girlfriend but my right hand. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Please, be my girlfriend. Said that. Uh. Gigolo? <laughs> oh, great. Now I'm hearing things. Next thing you know, they'll lock me away in the nut house. <coughs> ah, there's that voice again! Ah! Now I know I heard something, and it sounds like a girl! Calm down. Just calm down, Seiji.
not only that, but how do you know who I am? Um, well, I... You see... I've had a crush on you for the longest time, Seiji! A... a crush? I've loved you ever since I first saw you three years ago. I've always thought, wouldn't it be nice if I could be with Seiji? <laughs> Finally, someone loves me. For the first time in my life, someone loves me. Wait, this is not happening. There's nothing romantic about your right hand professing its love for you. Uh, listen. Yes? I don't know about your crush or whatever, but let me tell you, this is a problem. How in the hell do you think I'm supposed to live with an arm like this? I don't know. How am I supposed to know that? All I know is I woke up as your right hand, and I don't understand how or why I got here. Actually, I'm so scared I want to cry. Uh, uh. But then, maybe I'm happy too because I could be near you, the one I love so much! You know? <laughs> oh, oh! No, not me! And I am not a happy camper! I'm feared in this town as the infamous Mad Dog Salamura. So if I'm at a fight with you stuck on my arm and I say, You're going down! Yeah! No one would take me seriously and it would be uncool! I know, but I'll do my very best to help you make it cool! Oh no, that's not what I meant. Oh. Crap, what am I gonna do? Huh? Wait a sec, where's her real body? Uh, uh. Huh? It's best to keep your magazines in one place like this. That way, when it's time to recycle, they're already separated. <sighs> and just what do you think you're doing? Well, they're a little scattered about, so I thought I'd clean up, okay? Huh. Well... Huh. This actually might not be so bad. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! No, no, my poor dog! Throw them out right uh, away! They're not yours to throw out! Anyway, never mind that. Where do you live? Where do I live? Yeah, I was thinking if we go to where you live, we might be able to figure out how this whole thing happened. Yeah, but... What? Don't you want to go back to normal? But don't you like it like this? No, I don't like it like this! <laughs> Seiji, thanks for yesterday! Uh-huh. Where the heck is Seiji? He's absent. Absent? He's probably busy fighting. Thanks to that delinquent being gone, today it's nice and quiet. What'd you say? You heard me. Hey, what do you know? Hey, Seiji's a- Ayase. Mr. Hiedo wants you to pick up the homework in his office. Yes, sir. <sighs> what a smart ass. My little Marin. <laughs> This is your house? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Awesome! Holy crap! Your family must be totally rolling in it. Yeah, well, let's just go back now, okay? Besides, I don't really mind you like this. Well, I do! <laughs> Um, hello there. I'm a friend of the young lady of the house. Uh, she's out of the house on urgent business. Out of the house? I do not think it's likely that she'll be home today. Where exactly did she go? Please, leave now. Uh, but wait! I wonder why Seiji missed school. I think I'll go check on him. Um, excuse, excuse us. Huh? Are you Miyahara? Huh? <laughs> uh, tell me, is there anything I can do for two perky little high school girls? Anything? Well, we're both big fans of Seiji Sawamura! Hey, 
fans of Seiji? It doesn't make any sense. You're right here, but there's another you who's gone out for the day? Ugh. This sucks. This really sucks. I don't know. I'm pretty happy right now. Huh? I mean, I get to be with you, the one I love so much. Huh? <sighs> you know, I... I always used to watch you from afar on the platform. Huh? But... I would always make sure to keep my distance. High school. Great, you're not only rich, you're elite. All my friends say you're that scary delinquent from Sakura Demon High School and that I should stay away from you. But I know something they don't that really, you're a kind person. Huh? You're always going out of your way to protect weak people. That's the thing I love most about you. That's why I'm so happy to be with you. What up? Hey, thanks for yesterday. What's up? Why were you out today? Uh, uh yeah, I caught a bit of a cold. <coughs> oh, you had a cold. Oh, oh, no! Let's go see how he's doing. Seiji, I'm coming over to check up on you. No, uh, no, no, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Actually, I'm with a couple of super hot babes who really want to meet you. Huh? Did you hear me when I said super hot? <laughs> no! Well, in that case... <laughs> Seiji? <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, ah! yes, 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 How much you like me, it doesn't mean I'm gonna like you, especially since you're my right hand. In fact, I think the whole thing's a little creepy. <laughs> what I want is a human girlfriend, not a right hand girlfriend. <laughs> uh, now promise me, no matter what happens, you won't say a word. Okay. Knock it off, Osamu. I heard you the first time. <gasps> nice to meet you. My name's Yuko. I'm Yuka. Hi there, my name's Seiji. How was your cold, Seiji? Oh, I'm fine now. Thank goodness. Where's Osamu? He's getting stuff for you at the drugstore. Okay, uh, come on in. Wow, you live here all by yourself? Well, I've got a big sister, but she lives with her boyfriend, so she's never here. You should let us cook dinner for you. Huh? You've got to try our TLC-filled Love Love Cabbage Rolls. Oh yeah! Love, love, cabbage rolls! Sure, that sounds delicious, girls. Excuse me, um, where would your bathroom be? Oh, go down the hall, it's the last door on your left. Thank you. Boy, Osamu well, sure is late. Um, Seiji? Yeah? Well, have you ever... I mean, do you ever go out with younger girls? Huh? You don't seem to have a girlfriend right now, so if you'd like, I could... Oh, yeah! He shoots, he scores, and breaks his 17-year losing streak! Ladies and gentlemen, Seiji has arrived! Huh. Don't be silly. I've gone out with at least 20 girls younger than me. Seiji? Mm. Uh. Um... Is it okay for me to kiss you? Ah, 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 wow, 
Are girls always this bold? <laughs> I'm a little shy. Close your eyes. You're dead. Please, come on. Uh? <sighs> oh, Sage. Are you okay? Sage, are you all right? They didn't hurt you, did they? Tell me you're okay. No, they didn't hurt me. I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. Huh? I got knocked out, but at least, huh? at least I kept my promise. Promise? A word I didn't say. A word. You see, I've had a crush on you for the longest time, Seiji. You know, I don't even know your name. Midori. My name is Midori Kasukano. Look, Midori. Oh? From now on, if we're in a situation like that, you can break your promise. Speak up and let me know what's going on. Yeah, but what if someone finds out? I don't care. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. No secret is worth keeping if it means somebody will get hurt, especially a girl. Even though you're my right hand now, you're still a girl and I have to protect you. together with my beloved Seiji like this. Being his right hand instead of his girlfriend is a tiny bit disappointing. But the fact that it's a secret only two people in the world share makes me very happy. That night, I watched the moon from Seiji's window. It looked so very beautiful. Oh. <laughs> 
with my hand like this. Make sure you don't forget anything. Your pens, your pencils, your eraser, your notebook. Ah! Shut up! Oh! Hi, big brother! Uh, yo, Shiori! Good morning! What are you hiding? Uh, nothing, really. I doubt that. <laughs> All right, I won't tell. Careful they don't catch you with it at school. What? With what? <laughs> get any worse. Now kids are hitting on me. Seiji! Seiji! Lucky what I made! Ta-da! <laughs> so how do I look? Just when did you make that, Midori? <laughs> Last night before I went to bed while you were sleeping. And my favorite part is this hard look! Are you an idiot? You have to wear bandages or people are going to find out! We're gonna go again, after school. Huh? To your house. Oh. I'm hoping we can figure out some way to end this mess. Even for you, being like this must be... Are you trying to say I'm a burden? Did you see the bandage on his right hand? The demon right hand's been injured. Did you see that look in his eyes? Yeah, I think you're right. He's really There's scary. There's no reason to be scared of guys like him. Just ignore him. If you say so. He thinks beating up on people somehow proves that he's a man. Being afraid of him will just stroke his ego. So act like you don't give a crap. Oh, uh, okay. Hey! Everybody in school's talking about how you hurt your hand! Huh? This Yakuza's car is coming right towards you. <laughs> and you take out the car, the driver, the passenger, everything! Oh, come on! Quit spreading stupid rumors around! Huh? huh? Enough with your pointless babbling. Get back to your own classroom. Now. Just who do you think you are? Get going. Yes, sir? Sorry about that, Ayase. My buddy's a little rough around the edges. Birds of a feather flock together. Oh. You take being a delinquent to a whole new level. Is that right? You know what? I'm really glad your right hand got hurt. Now we don't have to worry about any more casualties. Say what? What are you gonna do, hit me? <sighs> Just look at him. The more violent he becomes, the more he'll just alienate himself from the rest of the school. Putting him in his place serves him right. can do about it. Sawamura! Seiji Sawamura! Huh? Come on out, Sawamura! Don't tell us you're chicken! Come on! Ah, it's that idiot gang from Hanzaman High School. Sawamura! Not gonna happen today, fellas. There's no way I'm gonna fight with my hand like this. Hey! What the hell are you doing here? Huh? Psh, who are you? I should ask you the same question. You clearly don't go to school here, so you might as well just buzz off. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? What is so damn funny? <laughs> is she serious? What a riot! Hey, maybe we should take her and have some fun instead. Yeah, why not? Salamour is not gonna show anyway. <gasps> so we'll take her instead. Let. Let go of it's me! It's all good. Just hang with us for a while. I said let go! You know, I hate delinquents like you more than anything in the whole world. <sighs> oh man, I really hate noisy chicks. You can't ever get them to shut up. 
Uh, hey, hey, guys! I think she had a cold day. Tell me about it. Look at her. She's shaking. Oh, she's Don't be scared. We just want to have a little fun. Look at what she says. Good for That's what I say. Oh, shit. It's that stuck on the chain. <laughs> oh no. Shut up. Get a move no. on. Somebody. Somebody, please. <gasps> so I'm more. You dumbass, he's wounded. You what he's now it's my turn! Thank you, you're mistaken. Don't flatter yourself. I needed the exercise. Later. Man, I'm transferring into the school. Oh, this guy. Uh, Seiji? Are you alright? Leave me alone. Huh? Uh, oh. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. There it is. That's the way. It takes a very steady hand. You're Sawamura's little pal, aren't you? What? Come on, we gotta go while we still have the chance. Huh? What do you mean, go? I told you this morning. We're going to your house. Doing hi, you look kind of banged up. Maybe you shouldn't push yourself so hard today. Challenge in writing? We have your little pal. If you want to save him, be under the railway on Fifth Avenue at five. And if you don't show, we'll beat him to death. Damn it, Osamu! You idiot! Seiji gets here, he's gonna what? take the sour more uh, your mommy. <laughs> I think it just turned five o'clock, kid. Hey, little man. It looks to me like you've been abandoned. Uh, Seiji's not the kind of guy who would abandon his best buddy. I'm gonna take care of this and then we'll go. Huh? How many times do I have to tell you we're going to your house? What's wrong with you? Oh, oh. I don't get it. What's wrong with Sawamura? He didn't learn a thing. He just ran off to another fight. Seiji. He... <laughs> For some reason, I thought he might be different from the rest of those punks. But he's done nothing but prove he's a big brute. All he wants to do is show off like he's got something to prove. Why am I being such an idiot? Well, the least I can do is tell him what I think. That way I'll feel better about it. Go ahead, say it again, punk! Okay. Seiji's gonna kick your ass! Oh, you got some balls, kid! Shut up! You're gonna get it for- <sighs> oh, You're gonna make us kill you before he gets here? Hey, now, beating up your hostages against the rules. Oh! Yeah! I'm on time. Why'd you start without me, ladies? Seiji, you're here! Welcome to the party. It seems you are the guest of honor. Gentlemen, it's time to give our guest a warm welcome. Saomura! Seiji! How 
That's enough. Let's go. It's no fun beating up on a punk who won't fight back. So much from Mad Dog Sawamura, chump. What a loser. You see me kick him in the kidney? He won't piss for a week. <laughs> Seiji, why? Those guys were no match for... Why did you just sit there while they... Uh, you could have at least! Why didn't you hit back even once? You just don't get it. Huh? Uh, listen, Osamo, you were taken hostage because of me. If I had beaten them up here, uh, this close to school, someone else might have gotten dragged into it. Uh, and I can't stand anyone getting hurt because of me. So that's why. But Seiji, I didn't, I mean, I... Uh... Stop it. Stop crying, you big baby. I'm late. I, I gotta Wait. go now. Wait, what do you mean you're late? You can't go anywhere looking like this. I'll take you to a doctor, okay? Listen to your friends, Seiji. We should go get some help right now. Shut up. I can take it. Seiji, you're the greatest. Uh... Jesus! <laughs> now don't get the wrong idea. I'm just putting my desk back in its designated spot. Uh. Oh, thank goodness! Not gonna happen. Hey, I know this great place around the corner. They have the best gelato. Oh. Huh? Hey, wait, isn't that the guy that Midori? What do you mean she's not here today? Will you at least tell me why she's not here? I'm very sorry, but if she isn't here, she isn't here. You're Seiji. Seiji Sawamura. Huh? Makie? Let him in right away. Wait, I... I never mentioned my name, did I? Come in, Seiji. Huh? This way, please. Uh, yes, ma'am. This is weird. How does she know my name? I'm sure Midori will be happy that you're here to visit her. She really admires you. Happy? Oh, so Midori's here, then? Right? Oh, yes. She's in here. <sighs> Midori. It's been almost three days. She just continues to sleep like this. The doctor examined her, but he doesn't know the cause. Or the cure. Almost three days? Look at this, Seiji. A picture of me? Hmm. Well, you know, Midori's been watching you ever since middle school, but... She couldn't talk to you. She said she would tense up just from seeing you and her mind would go blank. She couldn't even approach you. Look, she wrote here. Someday I'll let him know my feelings. I want us to walk around town together and laugh together. That's what Midori said her dream was. But then, maybe I'm happy too because I can be near you, the one I love so much, you know? 
Now that the one she has a crush on is here. Oh, poor Midori. I'm sorry. Forgive me for crying in front of you. Say, um, to tell you the truth... <gasps> hey, hey, wait. I'll oh. get us some tea. Oh. Uh -huh. If you would, please talk with Midori. I'm sure she'd love to hear your voice. Why are you hiding? Can't you see your mother's worried about you? Come on! I can't! What do you mean you can't? Look, I don't know why this happened, Midori. But the least you can do is show your mom that you're okay. I don't want to. Why not? Because if she sees me like this, I don't think she could take it. Besides, even if I could handle it, I don't want to make things worse than they already are. Even so, we've got to do what we can. I think we should try putting you in contact with your real body. Uh, then what? I don't know. But I'm hoping you'll merge or something and go back to normal. Go back to normal. <sighs> we'll never know unless we try, Midori. Just one thing. Huh? Well, if... If I'm able to return to my own body, would you... Seiji, what I mean is, would you please go out with me? Ah! Ah! If this actually works, I'll think about it, all right? Really? This is not the time to be shy! I don't care! Ah! Look, I'll keep my eyes closed. Just hurry up and do it. Okay, but you better not... Hurry up! The tea is ready. How dare you disgrace the young lady in such a matter? No, no. it's not. Something and you'll ever leave this man alone. It's not what you think. Oh, yeah. Poor Midori. I promise I'll protect you. I'll do everything I can. So, hurry and wake up. Midori. Please don't cry, Mom. With you being so sad, I can't stop crying either. I want you to know I'm okay There's nothing to worry about See, I'm together with my beloved Seiji Please, Mom Try not to be so sad What exactly are you looking at? Oh, nothing. You're just acting differently today. The way you're counting money doesn't fit your image. Well, sorry. There have been a lot of expenses this month, and this is my long-awaited allowance. Oh, you don't have to apologize. I'm just really happy to see a side of you I've never seen before. Well, I'd rather not show it, all right? <gasps> oh, no! Huh? It's burning! Whoa, whoa! 
to Shea Midori. Today's special is Midori's Deluxe Hamburger Steak. The deluxe part are these heart-shaped carrots right inside the meat. I don't give a crap about heart-shaped carrots. I'm hungry. Um. Mm -hmm. Hey, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, this is good and all, but uh, I was thinking since it's payday, we should go out for dinner tonight. What do you say? Well, are you asking me out on a date? No way. What should I do? I don't have anything to wear. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to get you to buy me anything. I mean, it would be awfully rude of me to ask you to go shopping when you've just now invited me to dinner. I know. If I start sewing now, I might make something in time. Listen, I already told you it's not a date. Oh. Oh, it's just, you know, my way of thanking you for all the chores you've done. Like you scratch my back, I scratch yours. I'm not angry! You must really be losing it if you've started talking to yourself. Uh, hi, sis. How pathetic. As usual, I find you alone and not a girl in sight. Oh, this is not good. If she finds out about Midori, I'm in for a world of hurt. His sister? Huh? <laughs> Smells like girl in here. Uh, what are you doing here? Your boyfriend kick you out? <laughs> hmm? Damn it! Give me back my allowance right now! I'm serious! Dream on. What kind of world do we live in when a sister steals her little brother's allowance? The real world. Besides, if I let you keep it, you'll just blow it on porn mags and manga. Oh? Trust me, I'll do something useful with it. Now run along. This isn't funny! Give it back! You stupid, ugly wench! Did you forget who you're talking to? Ah! <laughs> You're about a million light years away from being able to take me on, little man. What's the matter? Is your demon right hand gonna cry? It's it's nice to meet you, sister. First time I ever beat her. Hmm. Of all people to find out about this, she's the last one I would have wanted. You know. That's a pretty tough story to swallow. Just don't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> now, let's see. Your name's Midori, right? Um, yes. Rin? What part of this fool did you fall in love with? That doesn't make any difference! Seiji is really strong and warm-hearted and kind. And he's always out defending the weak. That's what I love most about him. Stop answering her stupid questions! At first, I figured she was a wacko, but she seems like a really nice girl. Right, Seiji? Shut up, you moron! <laughs> Who you calling a moron? I gotta give up! I give up! Let go! Let go! Say uncle! Say uh, no! Freaking uncle! It's been a while, Rin. Good to see you. Yeah, we heard a rumor you were back in town. We got here as soon as we could. Huh? 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 Ah! Oh! You asshole! Ah! I've told you before not to make so much noise. It disturbs the neighbors. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. It's been a while since I had a good Rin kick. It felt pretty good. Why do those people seem so happy she just kicked and yelled at them? That's the gang she put together back when she was in high school. They worship her like a bunch of mindless meatheads. All right! Time to head out and live it up at a spa, fellas! I'll take care of the bill. Huh? I got us a sponsor. Hold on! Aw, oh, oh, thanks, friend! Now wait a minute! Huh? <laughs> You've got a lot to learn. Oh. 
Why are we going to a spa? Did you have another fight with your boyfriend? None of your damn business! Oh, oh, hey, man, yeah, jeez! Mm -hmm. What? Why am I on the back of a motorcycle? Oh, man, this guy seriously needs a shower. But the breeze sure does feel nice. Going out to eat together seems like fun. But this way we get to see a beautiful sunset. We even get to go to a spa. It's kind of dreamlike. I guess I'm going on a trip whether I like it or not. But hey, it's all good. No, it's not. This is not all good. Excuse me! Can we get some more to drink? Hey, don't be selfish! Another round for everyone! Well, as long as she keeps getting smashed like this, I guess nothing bad will happen. Your sister may be a little on the rowdy side, but she seems She's really nice. She might seem nice to you, but you don't get it. She's an ogre, and she enjoys nothing more than tormenting me 24-7. All right, for my first trick, the reverse suplex! That's a gutsy game! Oh, this is a trick that no one can beat. I'm double-jointed! Ah. My arm's grabbed up! Awesome for Toshi! Alright, Max! Here's my trick, I'm the human fountain! That looks like a lot of fun! Keep watching, it'll make you stupid. Trust me. My turn! Makoto Harada! I've got the best trick! Watch my ear blow up like a balloon! What is this crap? Is this how you've been wasting your time? <gasps> how exactly do you expect to entertain me with lousy tricks like that? Give me a break! Oh. Why does she want these monkeys to perform for her? Listen up. To entertain me, you're gonna have to do something like this. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Huh? What? Now this is entertainment, boys. Oh. 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 No way. <laughs> oh. Oh. They know. <laughs> oh. They know. <laughs> What's this? Are you a ventriloquist? Huh? That's a pretty cute doll. <sighs> oh, it's soft. Like the real thing. Seiji, I don't know how long I can take this. Hang on, Midori. <gasps> it even has tips! <laughs> Does it have cute panties, too? <sighs> That's enough! Hey! Get your damn hands off her now! What's your problem? You can't talk to me like that. Punk. Ah, you're gonna pay for that, asshole! Ah, what the hell? I'm sorry about yesterday. It's okay. Hey, didn't I tell you not to look? Oh, I'm sorry. My sister's a notoriously bad drunk. What makes matters worse is she won't own up to it, because the next day she completely forgets everything she did. Yeah, but it's not so bad. 
You two seem to really get along. I'm jealous because I'm an only child. Please, I don't get along with that witch. <laughs> oh, hey! Since we're here, let me wash your back for you. Come uh, that's okay. I'm fine. Now just relax. It'll be fine. Mm. Mm. I guess that is kind of convenient. Now a little higher up. Ow! Uh, that hurts, you idiot! My arm is cramping! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, now what am I gonna do? I know! I've got a great idea! She's using on my back now feels softer than before. Uh, the towel wrapped around me is full of suds, so I get to be a sponge. <laughs> scup, 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 scup. Hey, cut it out! Just what do you think you're doing back there? Huh? But this way I can wash myself too. It's a lot more efficient that way. Don't you go getting any funny ideas. What's the matter? Aren't you two lovebirds getting along? <laughs> Go. Huh? If you're talking about your sister, she went home with all her friends. What? An overnight stay for 12 adults, along with the repair of eight shoji screens, one hanging scroll, a TV, ten doors, comes to this. Thank you very much. <sighs> Do you have a payment plan? Are you sure about this, Orin? I mean, we left Seiji behind, you know. Ah, oh, forget it. The kids can take care of themselves. Huh? Never mind. I know he's a pain in the ass. But take good care of my brother, Midori. So tell me, what exactly did you and my sister talk about at the spa? A secret? Yeah, but I'm very happy to have once again discovered a new part of you I didn't know. It's very exciting. Ha! Huh. Whatever you say. What are you so happy about? Well, it's like a dream to be able to eat my favorite flavored chocolate banana in this extra large size. It's amazing. I wish this was a dream. And besides, huh? eating ice cream with you really is a dream come true. I'm so happy right now. <sighs> just shut up and eat your ice cream. <clears throat> Ma'am, I wish I could just eat ice cream and not have to worry about people seeing me. I might as well build an ice cream stand in my house. <laughs> I... Did it get colder? Time to go. Huh? Uh, sorry. Get so excited. I'm the one who got ice cream all over your only outfit. I'm just making up for it, you know? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, thank you, Seiji. Let's go shopping right now. <clears throat> all right. Here we are. Wow! So many cute outfits. Oh, it's like a dream. I don't know where to start. Uh, looks like a nightmare to me. Oh my gosh, this 
Hey, keep it down, would you? I know, but you never seen a half up with the boost of levitation? I, I had the, I had a copy of level five. What do they mean, first edition? This outfit's from the anime. Don't they do their research? I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna post a complaint about this store on the internet. Huh? What are they talking about? <laughs> if anyone I know sees me here. Hey, hurry up and pick one, Midori. <laughs> Do you take this man to be your lovely wedded husband? I do! Quit goofing around, you little moron! Huh? You're not looking at me now, are you? You little punks. Who's that guy? Believe me, this is the last place on Earth I want to be right now. Oh, no, you don't look like you're feeling so good. Midori! I'm sorry, Doctor. I'm not a doctor! Huh? What? 35 bucks? Jeez, these are expensive. This one's a hundred? This one's a thousand? Uh, looks like money's gonna be tight hey, again hey, this hey, month. Here, pull on this! Huh? Oh, no! Why would you do this? Why would you do Stop throwing around, Midori! Well, hey, it's Salamura! Who knew we'd meet in a place like this? Who's this dude? And you are... <gasps> hmm... I figured as much. At school, I try to keep the lowest profile I can. Oh. Well, I'm Shuichi Takamizawa, your classmate! No! You know, I, I never thought that the guy feared his mad dog Sawamura would have the same hobby as me. Huh. Action figures, like these! Isn't this Ultra Girl Marin great? This outfit's a special release. Uh, now, now, hold on a minute. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm not really into, uh... You don't have to be uh... shy about it. We're buddies, after all. We're buddies. Attention, all shoppers! <laughs> Never mind! I get it. I keep it a secret, too. You know, I do have my reputation to consider. He's got a lot more than that to consider. <gasps> I hope he doesn't tell anyone he saw me here. This Mad Dog Sawamura in a doll shop? I gotta think of something. Uh, yeah, right, fabric. Let's just let this be our little secret, though, huh? <laughs> You're right, Seiji. Mum's the word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the truth is, real girls are brazen and impure. They're never how you want them to be. I say small, cute, sweet, and innocent dolls are much better. Huh? Small, cute, sweet, and innocent? Oh no! That sounds just like Midori! <laughs> Today we asked 100 Takamizawas what their ideal type was! Oh wow! If only a doll could really be alive and talk to me! Uh... And if she loved me wholeheartedly... Uh... And then, if she could be part of my body, I'd have nothing left to wish for! Ah! Oh no! If this guy does find out about Midori... Ugh! I think we'll wear this outfit today. No, maybe this one. Please stop! Say goodbye, Salamura. Seiji! Ah! Seiji! This is the Midori Police. Your heart is officially under arrest. Shut up, stupid. Hey, what are you doing? Are you hiding something? Come on, Seiji. You can show your buddy. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? I wonder if that Takamizawa dweeb saw Midori or not. Seiji, you look worried. What's the matter? Ah, uh, nothing. Oh. <sighs> you know, Midori, it seems like you're full of contradictions. What do you mean? Well, you live in that giant mansion, yet you clean, do laundry, <laughs> cook, and even sew. Makie taught me everything I know. Makie? Yeah, she's our maid. Oh, I see. 
so Midori is still. You were so full of life, and now you're like a doll. There hasn't been a single day when I don't think of you. What can I do for you? I'll do anything for you to wake up. Midori. Hey, uh, by the way, I'm sorry. Hmm? Well, I didn't buy you any clothes. Oh, that's okay. Huh? Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you cared enough to mention it. <sighs> it means a lot to me. <laughs> Besides... Midori, listen. What is it? Stop embroidering embarrassing phrases on your shirt! So that would you prefer the word madly? That's not what I meant! Then how about Would you just listen to me? Oh man, of all the people in my class, Takamizawa had to be the one to see me. Huh? Takamizawa? I wonder Next what's going on. Did he forget about yesterday? Next problem, Sawamura. Who? Me? Uh, yes, sir. Can you tell me the values of X and Y? Uh, let's see. X is negative 2, Y is 1. Well, well, you're right for a change. Hey, so thank you. Don't think I was trying to help you, because if you think I was trying to help you, I wasn't. Huh? And keep your eyes on your own notebook. <sighs> Seiji, look! Huh? 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 No freaking way. Look, there's a note inside. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> what in the world is he up to? That's it for today, class. All of this material will be on next week's test. Hey, uh, uh, Seiji. Hmm? I brought my dad's lunchbox with me by accident. It's a little much for me, so would you like it? Oh, are you sure? Oh, positively! Whoa! It's great! You know, I have never had fried egg this good before. It's delicious. Would you like to be my girlfriend? Sure! Oh, oh Seiji. That's it for today, class. All of this material will be on next week's test. Hey, Seiji! We need to talk about your right hand. Meet me on the roof during lunch. That prick Takamizawa! Who does he think he is trying to threaten me? Man, he's really got some balls! Seiji, you're not gonna do anything rash, are you? Oh, don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything rash. I'm just gonna rattle his teeth a little bit. Sawamura, your right hand is always bandaged, but it's not wounded, is it? <laughs> yeah, I knew I was right. <laughs> you dirty... Huh? Please, Sawamura, won't you let me just have one good look at your puppet? My puppet? I caught a glimpse of the anime shop. See? I have my own Marin puppet, but that one's cuteness really threw me for a loop. You called another girl cute? How could you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Please forgive me, Marin. Okay? Oh, well, I'll forgive you because it's Y-O-U. That's my Marin. Looks like he hasn't figured it out. Yeah. I beg of you, please show it to me. Yeah, show it. <clears throat> Seiji. Leave it up to me, trust me. What? Just follow my lead. Um, all right, I'll show you my puppet. Really? Thank you so much, Sawamura. Look, but don't touch. Uh, so tell me, what's her name? 
Midori. Oh, what a cute name! <laughs> so tell me, where'd you get her? Oh, uh, let me see. My dad got her overseas. Overseas? Awesome! So she's a foreign model. Achoo! Ah! You have to go off and sneeze like that! I can't believe it! She sneezed! I must be dreaming! A puppet ah, sneeze! Calm down now, that was just your imagination! Curses! I should have known. Leave it to the West to include a sneezing gimmick in their puppets. I can't do that! He still thinks I'm a puppet, Sage. Yeah, I think you're right. I say we leave now before he figures out you're not. Uh, uh, could you tell me where overseas she was made and who made her? I can't. I promise not to tell. Please tell me. Pretty please. I said no, damn it! Ah, <laughs> uh, Salamura, wait up! Wait! <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Yamada. I have no idea. Well, obviously, it sounds like a fake name. <laughs> Just open it. Huh? Oh, cute! I'll bet you anything this is from Takamizawa. What in the hell is he up to now? Hey, <laughs> I hope you like my present, Salamura. That outfit's so awesome, you'll want to change her on the spot. You don't think he's trying to pull some kind of perverted trick, do you? Excellent. He's about to change her clothes, just like I planned. And once he does... I'll be able to see the doll maker's logo on her back. I guess it looks safe enough. Should I try it on? Suit yourself. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but would you close the curtains, please? No problem. Huh. Uh, she doesn't want anyone to see. Well wow. done, Salamura. With a doll that special, I'd keep it a secret, too. Am I imagining it? Or does Midori's expression change? Yet another amazing gimmick. That tuna looks good. Let's get some. That's too expensive. We should get something cheaper. She spoke. Incredible. It's as if she's alive. Figures it's foreign made. I want it. I must have it. What are you doing? Quiet, I think someone's following us. I don't like this, just keep still. Don't worry, let ah. me take a quick look. Wait! Ah! Damn it, Takamizawa! Uh, I'm sorry, I just had to know what company made your wonderful puppet. Oh, come on! Look, a hundred dollar bill. Really? Now's my jam! Ah! Huh? Ah! What the hell, man? Uh, uh, no name! <laughs> you bastard! Now that you know Midori's secret, we've got a problem. This is insane. I always thought it would be great if there was a living doll. But you actually have one. Tell me I'm not dreaming. Huh? This is the coolest. I'm so jealous. Oh, Midori, you're so cute and you're just my type. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you to say so. Shut up. This is not the time. Incredible. This is my wildest dream come true. You simply must tell me where you got her and how. Look! I don't know how it happened, but if you tell anyone about Midori, you won't live to see tomorrow. Oh. Are you threatening me, Salamura? <laughs> tell me what you want. What do I want? Good question. What I really want is to have her on my hand, but that doesn't look possible now, does it? So I think I'll have you be my little puppet for a while. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Things are really looking up for Shuichi Takamura. <laughs> Piece of crap, Takamizawa. Why the hell does that creep want me to meet him in a place like this anyway? Come on now, come on now, this won't hurt a bit. I just love having that chick against me soft and the chick I can do this. Nah, it's probably worse than that. That wacko has a way of taking my nightmares to a whole new level. Hi there. Mm. I'm sorry to call you all the way out here. Got you something. <laughs> I just knew it. Midori looks so good in a maid outfit. <laughs> That's enough! Ah, uh, 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 can't move the bottle around. Damn you! Excuse me, did you make this dress yourself, Shuichi? Yeah, I sure did. I made it just for you. Do you like it? Yes. Then you can have it. Are you serious? Thank you very much, Shuichi. I'll take good care of it. <gasps> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I can't 
believe she's putting up with this just for some stupid clothes. I'm so happy. Huh? I've liked dolls for so long now. I'm so good at making clothes for them. But, I mean, to be praised and for you to be so delighted? Being able to bring this much joy to you makes me happier than I've ever been. That's it! I think I was put on this earth so that one day I could meet Midori. Can't you see it? Look, you dumbass! Open your eyes! Midori is attached to my right arm! The more obstacles there are, the hotter love burns! Midori, look, I've got plenty more clothes for you. Even a bath set and a mealtime set. You need help. So please say you'll be mine, please. Okay, okay, Midori? I'm sorry. Huh? Uh, that's so unfair. It should be obvious that I'm a better choice. I can make clothes for you. And besides, you'll be the only one I truly love. So why not me, Midori? It makes me very happy to know you feel that way. So you mean? <gasps> However, I am not a doll, Shuichi. Uh. You see, I, I love Seiji. So no matter how many clothes and things you give me, or no matter how much you love me, my feelings are for Seiji and Seiji alone. <sighs> You're right. You're not a doll, Midori. I thought I'd finally met the girl of my dreams. The one I could be with forever. Oh well, c'est la vie. Listen, Shuichi, I hope you understand now why Midori can't be your girlfriend. But at least the two of you have become friends, and that's good. After all, you know her secret, and that's something the two of you can share. Yeah, friends. Here's to a good friendship. Friendship? Yeah! Friendship! Hey, Midori, since we're friends and all, you wanna try these on? Ew, no! Don't you start again! <laughs> friends? We're friends, right? No, it's embarrassing! But this is what friends do. See? It's not embarrassing. Come on, why not? Enough! Can't you see she doesn't uh, uh, want to? Uh, oh. oh, that was bad. Uh, hey, Shuichi, are you okay? He's out cold. So thanks for getting me home after I passed out yesterday. Ah, yesterday. Sorry about what happened, I... Uh... I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, eh, it doesn't matter. Come on, if we don't hurry, we'll be late, old chum. Old chum? Come, my good man. Let us face another day of our glorious school life together. Uh, hello, lovely ladies. You're both looking quite divine this morning. Frank, <laughs> it looks like Shuichi's somehow lost his memory. I think he's lost more than his memory. To Seiji's wrestling moves, it looks like my secret is safe for now. I'm sorry, Shuichi. But since Seiji protected me, I love him even more. crap about hearts on my toast. Look what time it is. Damn, I'm running late. discriminant. The quadratic mm. equation is resolved very uh, easily. Are there any questions? <laughs> Try solving this problem, then. Hmm. Seiji, wake up! The teacher's coming! Very good. Come on, wake up! Oh, no! Wake up! Ah! 
Well, what do you want? God damn it! Oh. Hmm? <laughs> Sawamura! I'm sorry about that, Seiji. It's all right. Don't sweat it. Don't you dare look this way. You got it? Got it. Man, I hate having to use the stall every time I have to take a leak. It's bad enough having to do it with my left hand. Uh, maybe I can help you out. Uh. Don't worry, I'll close uh, my uh, eyes. Uh, are you out of your mind? I don't need your help. Well, maybe this will help. Pee, come on, pee. Shut up! Ah. Uh. Hey, knock it off, buddy! I'm trying to take a leak here! What are you deaf? I'm taking a leak! You're really asking for it, you know? Huh? Ah! PC Kong! Get up! Ah! Boy. What the hell's your problem? You can't treat me like that! I'm a student! Shut up! Students show respect to teachers! I got your respect right here, asshole! Oh, oh crap. I got it, I got it, I got it! Yeah! Booyah! He scores! <laughs> yes! <laughs> this one's mine! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, are you you all right? Huh? Midori! Huh? Midori? Who's that? Hey, Seiji. Huh? What's up? I'm so sorry. Because of me, you have to sit out in gym class, too. You dummy. Nothing to worry about. Don't sweat the small stuff. So, Amora! Yeah? What's the big idea with this morning in the bathroom? Those were accidents. Uh, both of them. Right, and you slack your way through my class every day! Hey, man, I'm not slacking. My right hand is injured, so what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to believe anything a delinquent like you says? <laughs> I'm sure I can think of something you could do with just your left hand. <sighs> One hundred one-handed push-ups. If you can't do it, I won't pass you. I told you not to sweat it. You've got 80 more! Ah. Keep it up, Sawamura! Ah. Ah. Oh man, I'm starving. Uh, yeah, that's an extra large Supreme Pizza. Thanks. Ah, oh, that son of a bitch, Nishida. My left arm is killing me. Uh, I'll open it for you. Ah. <laughs> Is it water? Who the hell put this here? Oh no, it's your sister's liquor! Huh? Uh... uh, uh Seiji! Seiji! <laughs> oh. oh, I know! I always feel like such a bother to Seiji. It's times like this when I should try hard to be of some use.
Um, I'm selling conversational English language tapes. What should I do? Uh, excuse me. I know. Uh, are you all right? Uh, no, no need to worry, ma'am. Uh, I was just feeling a little drowsy. Hmm. Well, I'd like to tell you about some fantastic conversational English tapes. Uh, no, thank you. With our system, you'll see a dramatic rise in your uh, test scores within a week. I don't need any. You see, I'm by my father's English teacher. Strong. Huh. Oh, you're burning up. I I am? Oh, it's nothing. I'm fine. <laughs> it's up and out of and go to school. Uh, hey, Midori. Hey, come on, talk to me. Say something. Midori! to school? You're sick. You don't. I... Hey, why are you crying? Are you sad about something? Wow, you're really sweating. I need a towel. Man, you're really soaked. Let's wipe some of that sweat off. Uh, okay, pull yourself together, Seiji. They're boobs. That's all. Just boobs. Be quiet, you're sick. Huh. Here, I've got some medicine. Damn it. I never get cold, so I haven't had it refilled. Ah, that's it. I've got no other choice. Where are you going? I'm taking you to the hospital, right now. To the hospital? Yes. You can't! Ah, 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 if you get any sicker, Midori... No, ah. you can't, Seiji! Midori! If they find out about me, it'll cause all kinds of problems for you! Huh? Ah! Uh, I'm begging you! Don't worry about me right now. Worry about yourself. You're the one who's sick. Thank you for caring, Seiji. Your kindness is the best medicine I could ask for. Oh, shut up. This is no time for your sappiness, Midori. But you know we shouldn't go to the hospital. You know I'm right. Thank you very much. Yeah, right. Hang in there. I'll have this stuff mixed up in no time. Thank you. You're only supposed to use the yolks, right? Right. Oh, come on. There we go. Rin's tequila is responsible for all this. So let's use a little more. Can you drink it? Uh-huh. I'm sorry, I'm not exactly a good cook. No, it's very tasty. Thank you, Seiji. Let's see, I think it's straight up this hill. It's rather odd for Seiji to be sick like this. However, now's my chance! <laughs> Uh, 
Takako, you've been too kind to me. How can I repay you? Oh, you be quiet. You have a cold, so it's the least I could do. I sure would like to have a girlfriend like you. <gasps> girlfriend? Takako, say you'll be my girlfriend. the Sawamura residence is? I'm looking for Seiji Sawamura. Why, Missy? Missy? What do you want? He was homesick with a cold today, so I thought I'd deliver his homework. I'll deliver him. You can go home. <gasps> hey, what are you doing? Get back here, you little brat. Uh, huh? So much for my master plan of a romantic evening for two. <laughs> Big bro, are you okay? I heard you got a cold. This girl asked me to give you your homework. If you're cold, I could sleep with you to keep you warm. Forget it. Oh. Looks like her fever's breaking. Huh. I always thought she was so loud and annoying. But now that she's so quiet, I have to admit, the house feels pretty lonely. Uh. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> it's funny. I've been by myself so long at home and at school. And all this time, I just thought I'd gotten used to it. Come on, hurry up and get better. Get back to your noisy, goofy, energetic old self. If you don't, it'll be lonely around here. Are you sure you're all right? It wouldn't have been a problem to take another day off. If you're talking like that again, you must be better now. Oh, Marin. Even though it was only for a little while, please forgive me for forgetting about you. Good morning. Morning. Is your cold better? Yep. I'm as right as rain. Oh, okay. That's good to hear. Takako, hold tight till your next chance. You dribble like a girl. <laughs> Whoa, huh. Nice of you to fake being sick yesterday. I'm telling you, I wasn't faking. As if I could trust a punk like you. Do 100 one-handed pull-ups or else I'm gonna fail you. And when I do them, you're gonna give me full course credit. <laughs> One. <laughs> two. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. It's not your fault. Stop apologizing. Yeah, but... What? You're done already? And six. Seven. That's it. You can quit if you're tired. Then you'll never pass my class. <laughs> Nine eight. Ninety nine. Great. Now my arm would fall asleep. 
Oh, that was so close. Come on, give up. You know you're just a failure. Just one more. Sagey, I could help you too. Please, please let me help you. Oh, don't be stupid. You just got over a fever this morning. But I'm fine now, Sagey. I don't really want to take that chance, Midori. There's only one more left, and I can do it without your help! Midori! What are you doing, Midori? Let go! No! I refuse! <laughs> After all, I've been nothing but a burden to you. No matter how small it may seem, I simply must be of some use to you. Midori... So I won't give up. Even if it kills me, I won't let go! <laughs> There! Now give me my freaking credit! No way! You used your right hand! I don't have to give you the credit! So was I useful to you? Uh, yeah. Oh, thank goodness! Huh? Seiji? You know something? You're really a right hand I can count on. Seiji, I'm sorry I got sick and was a burden to you. From now on, I'll try to be more careful and stay my usual healthy self. I overslept again! I tried as hard as I could to wake you, but you just wouldn't get up! I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! Seiji! Allow me! Sure, thank you. Right now, I'm so very happy. After all, I've realized that I could be useful to Seiji even while I'm like this. Hanging around the house is boring anyway. We might as well go wander around. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm so happy the two of us are going out together on such mm. a beautiful day. It's not like we have much choice in the matter. We have to be together. Yeah, well, so what? I'm still happy. Fine, fine. Big bro, take me huh? <laughs> Big bro, please take me somewhere far away. Hey, what's the big idea? Huh? We were on our way to a family outing, but it looks like Shiori would rather go somewhere else. Well, I mean, it hasn't been that long since they got married, and I just wanted them to be able to spend their day off alone, with just each other. Shiori. So that's why you didn't want to go with us. <laughs> uh. Seiji, I want you to watch Shiori for the day. Ah. Uh. That's not quite what he said to me! Say, Shiori. Huh? Let's all go together. I've been looking forward to... Don't worry yourself over me. Just get going already. <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh, why does this <laughs> stuff always happen to me? All right, you heard my dad. It's your job to look after me for the rest of the day. Uh, yeah, I heard your dad. But it was just supposed to be the two of us alone together today. Quit pouting, you. <laughs> so then another boy 
in my class had to go and say she likes me. That's the sixth one. Six boys. I couldn't care less about kids my own age. You don't say. What a crying shame. You know what, though? I'd be happy to be your girlfriend any day. Thank you, thank you. I'll be sure to jot that down. Hey, you're treating me like a child again. That's because you are. You know, your parents looked like they were all set to do the family thing. Are you sure about this? I'm sure. I'm kind of tired of watching her. Watching that lady always try so hard. What do you mean, that lady? After all, no matter how hard the person my dad married tries, I only have one mom. And she's in heaven now, with the angels. Hey, let's go play somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Quit clinging to me. You're making it impossible to walk. Oh, come on. I'm scared we're going to get separated in this big crowd. It's okay, because we're on a date. Uh... <gasps> on a date? Didn't I tell you to stop pouting? Thank you. Come again. Huh? Seiji? Let's go shop! That's the girl from the other day. <laughs> Is Seiji the kind of guy who dates girls that young? <laughs> There's no way. But still... How about it? Don't you find me way more attractive than any of those old ladies over 20? <laughs> It's been worth it dating you since you were a little kid. What if that's what's going to happen? Oh, don't be stupid, Takako. There's no way in hell that's what's going on. <laughs> Let's take some together. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Pictures together, and look how she clings to him. I can't afford to waste any more time. You win! You're a nine lantern set! Quadruple limit, 96,000 points! Hey, big bro, let's do this next. Hmm? You got some real guts challenging me to a fighting game. Let's go for it. You're going down. Games. I've never lost one in my entire life! Huh? Uh, what's the matter? Uh, nothing, nothing at all. Just wait there a minute. <laughs> hey, are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't know which buttons do what. Oh, yeah. Listen, I'll tell you when to push which buttons, all right? All right, let's do it. Come on, quit taking all day. Coming, but this time I won't be so easy on you. Button now! Right. Keep A held down and hit C! Yeah. Start a combo! Keep mashing all the buttons like that! Mash, 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 mash! Smash! Keep going! It's not over yet! A, A, D, B, C! Boyfriend? 
I don't care how desperate you are. You don't take jail bait. Are you a dumbass? Ah, oh, so that's all it is. You're just babysitting a local girl. Well, you had me worried for a second. And what are you up to, hanging around here all by yourself? Uh, I just figure that every now and then I ought to drop by the house. You only come home when the mood friggin' strikes you. Did you say something? Nothing you'd want to hear. I'm going to the bathroom. Darn. And that was such a good chance, too. Huh? Hmm. I bet you've got the hots for Seiji. I can tell even if you hide it. You're mad because you can't be alone with him now, aren't you? You want to be able to turn his head, don't you? Oh, get lost! What's it to you anyway? I'd be willing to help you out if you're interested. Huh? What I'm telling you is, I know everything you'd ever want to know about Seiji over there. So why not let Big Sister Rin be your secret love coach? Uh, well... Uh... <laughs> Thank you for watching Shiori for us. Uh, no big deal. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I kept an eye on this pervert to make sure he didn't lay a hand on your precious little daughter. That's enough of your twisted crap! Shiori! Yes, ma'am! Understand? Yes! Wish me luck, coach! Uh, mm -hmm. What do you mean, coach? What's this all about? <laughs> it's a secret! What are you trying to pull with her, Rin? Oh, nothing. Well, uh, let's go home now, Shiori. Uh, uh. Come on, Shiori. Let's just go already, all right? The uses of the preposition as are numerous and can easily seem complex. But if you look at the context of the sentence using as, you can extract which distinct meaning is used. Please look at example number one. As you are sorry... What's she staring at? No matter how cute Seiji's sleepy face is, you don't have to stare at him so much. Seiji? Huh? Hey, listen, Seiji, I was wondering. Huh? Yeah. I'm sorry about what happened today. Ah, just drop it. I'm home. Welcome home after your long day. Ah! What the hell are you doing here? I wanted you to help me out with my homework. Homework? Ah, all right. I guess even I can handle doing some grade school stuff. <laughs> First step, greeting him at the door like a young wife? Check. The enchanting big love love strategy brought to you by yours truly. The fun has only just begun. Huh? So, here's the part where I'm having trouble. <laughs> well, what do you think of a girl wearing glasses? This is sure to put his heart right into my clutches. Shiori, since when do you have bad eyesight? Looks like I forgot to get a pencil. It didn't work, Coach. He isn't responding to this at all. What do you know? I figured he was the type who'd go nuts for a girl wearing glasses. All right, on to plan B. Hop to it, Shiori. Aye, aye, Coach. Huh? Sorry I took so long, big bro. Uh... <laughs> Let's see how he handles the schoolgirl uniform look. You moron! That's my sister's uniform! If she sees you wearing it, she'll kill you. Oh no, I'm scared. I'd better take it off quick. Ta-da! Huh? There's still hope yet. <laughs> hey. Huh? Huh? You're gonna catch a cold dressed in that. Here, put this on. Yeah. I never dreamed he'd end up being such a tough nut to crack. Well, there's no time to waste being depressed, Chiori. Huh? I think it's time for us to get out the big guns. Sorry for the way. 
talking about. That's a lie! Tell me one person besides you who would tell Siori to do all that crap! Huh? You know, she's really depressed, Seiji. Huh? Know what she told me? She doesn't think she's attractive as a woman. Pity. Unattractive? But she's still just a child. Even if she's a child, she's still a girl. And the worst thing you can do to a girl is hurt her feelings by walking all over them. Sure, like I need to hear that from you. Your bath's ready. I know! What a bitch of a sister. <sighs> but oftentimes she's unexpectedly thoughtful and considerate. I'm sure she's just worried about Shuri and that's That's a bunch of bull. You don't know her that well. You know what she is? She's an ogre who likes nothing better than to mess with people's lives. If you give her an inch, she'll toy with you till the day you die. <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> you don't even give a second thought to playing around with people's feelings. The jokes can't do far enough is enough. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on, Romeo. Just don't come crying to me when you're dead. Stop it, please. No more fighting. Both of you, stop. Your sister had me do all that because she was trying to help me out. I mean, I really do like you a lot, but because I'm just a little kid, you don't take anything I do seriously. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Shiori. Am I not good enough? Uh, uh. Is a little girl like me just not good enough for you? <laughs> That's not what it's about, Shiori. <laughs> he likes them even smaller than you. Uh. Look! <laughs> ah! My, my. He's never gonna land a girlfriend as long as he's that uptight. Well, it's one of his better qualities, though. You stupid, ugly witch! I'm telling you, that that's why it was just a dream. You slipped and fell in the bathroom, and then you passed out. Hmm. Maybe that is what happened after all. Here, look. You know, my hand's been injured and bandaged up forever now. You must have been thinking about that and then had some weird dream about a girl being there. <laughs> Just a dream. Huh? Oh, man. I wish I could turn into your right hand, big bro. Then you and I could get to be together all the time. <laughs> ah, it's already after 8 o'clock. Time for you to go home, Shiori. Here, I'll walk you. <laughs> no, I... I won't go. Huh? Who is it? Shiori. Oh, thank goodness. It was getting so late. I was really starting to worry about you. Thank you. I hope this wasn't an inconvenience. Oh, uh, no big deal. I made your favorite dinner tonight, Shiori. Hamburger steak. Now why don't we go home and eat together? I don't want to go. Huh? huh? I don't want to go back to that house. Hey, Shiori. I'm going to live in this house from now on. Is that all right, big bro? You dummy, what are you talking about? But why? Huh? Stop trying to be my mother, all right? No matter how hard you try, I only have one mommy, and that's not going to change. Oh, Shiori. You really just want to have a happy life with Dad, right? It'd be easier if I wasn't around, right? You could never hope to measure up to my mom anyway. <laughs> Why? Uh -huh. Why don't you understand? Uh -huh. The only thing I want is for things to start getting better between you and me. <laughs> Even you should know by now. It's obvious that your mom's only thinking about what's best for the two of you. Yeah, but I... Go on, get out of here. Quit being stubborn. Be honest. 
I'm pretty sure your mom in heaven would tell you to do the same thing. I was not being stubborn, got it? I was just afraid that my big bro might get lonely if I went back home and left him here all by himself. As if. I'm not gonna get lonely. Fine then. See if I care. Let's go home, Mom. Uh, Shiori. I sure am hungry. That steak sounds really good. Look, Shiori, look! The stars are so beautiful tonight. You're right, they are. <gasps> Big bro, I forgot to tell you something. <laughs> that was for good luck, so you don't get lonely. Get going already, stupid! Me too. And when you said be honest, uh, that made me all mushy inside. Ha! I only said that because I didn't think she'd leave otherwise. <laughs> Today's the day. in a hurry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I guess you do as well as anyone else. <clears throat> huh? I have these two movie tickets and, well, uh, uh, no. Um, the girl who is going to go with me suddenly had to cancel, so I thought, wouldn't it be a waste just to throw one away? So, what's your point? Oh, you know! I was thinking that maybe you'd like to, you know... Hmm. Let's see. Seiji, you know what this means? Ah! Oh, I've been wanting to see this! Well, uh, it's not like you have to go. Oh, I'll go! You bet I'll go! Really? Okay, then meet me in front of Hoshikawa Station at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Sure. girl asked Seiji to go to the movies with her. But what he doesn't seem to realize was that it was an invitation to a date. What? <laughs> it's I solemnly swear that with this plan, Seiji will be mine. Takako sure is late. Wasn't it her idea to see this movie in the first place? She's on a date today with that Ayasi, and I can't interfere because otherwise I'll reveal his secret. Well, either way, I guess I should be grateful. I sure wanted to see this movie. Even so, I don't want things to go that well with them. Oh, what should I do? Here I am. Sorry I'm late, but better late than never. This is the first thing you learn in Dating 101. I call it the look as hot as you can plan. All this for your date with me? You're prettier than ever, Takako! Seiji, that makes me so happy! <sighs> oh, hey. Yeah, yes, is something wrong? Well, why are you dressed like that? Isn't that a little much for just going to see a movie? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh well, let's get a move on. The look as hot as you can plan is a failure. Walk it off, Takako. The date has just begun. My time to shine begins now! <laughs> Wait up! Oh. What? What's up? 
We'll get there sooner if we go this way. Oh, really? All right, whatever you say. <laughs> Man, it sure is crowded today. Yeah. I was brilliant for choosing this time of day. And on a holiday. Let the cling to your date in a crowd plan commence! I... I'm sorry. I don't think I can keep up with you in this huge crowd. Oh, no! I'm falling! Are you all right? Just hold on tight to me! Seiji, this is so cool! <laughs> oh, now's your chance. Get ready to catch me, Seiji. Come on! Seiji's body feels surprisingly cold, and also kind of... hard? Hey, I like chicken a lot too, but I think we should hurry up or we're gonna miss the start of the movie. This plan failed too! No! This is not the time to back down! Next time, success will be mine! Man, I haven't been out to see a movie in a long time. Thanks for giving me that extra ticket. Don't mention it. It would be a shame if the ticket went to waste, don't you think? Hmm. Well, at least there's no talking during the movie. I guess that's a relief. Seiji should be the type who's a sucker for a girl who scares easily. Plenty of unusual things can happen in the dark while you're watching a horror movie. There are a total of four scream scenes in this film. I've got the timing nailed down perfectly. After that, it's all up to nature to take its course. Time for cling to your date in a scary movie plan! With this horror movie and my sense of timing... Uh, I didn't mean to. Oh, you're a lot more timid than I thought you were. Well, hey, you know. Hold tight to me until the end of the credits. I have a better idea. Just keep holding me like this forever. This is no time to get delusional. My first chance is just around the corner. Now. Huh? Uh? What was that voice? Where'd it come from? Uh, he got me. S someone behind us, maybe. <laughs> I shouldn't have expected it to work the first try, but next time it will. He dodged me every single time. I never anticipated that. Fine. At this point, I'm just gonna have to force it. What? I can't see because it's so dark, but his hand feels really hairy. That's weird. Feels like something's tickling my hand. <laughs> ah, ah, what the hell is she doing? I don't remember his hand being this hairy. And what are these two bumps? Oh, don't tell me she noticed, Midori. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Ah, got it. Oh, Seiji. <laughs> oh, that was close. Great flick. I just love horror movies. Thank goodness that's over. Ayase almost discovered me. Now that she's done putting the moves on Seiji, I can finally relax. I have not yet begun to fight. Uh, hey, hey, you know what, Seiji? Huh? Oh. This morning I started putting together some supper, but I ended up making too much. Oh, what a waste. Too bad. You think? So if it sounds like anything you'd be interested in, why not come over and eat at my place? You're on! I was just getting hungry, too, so if you're offering food, I'm all over that. Really? Oh, but before that, there's a place I'd like to drop into. Sure, I'll go anywhere with you. Oh. Uh, uh, what gives? Seiji, don't you think she might want to do something more than just eat? What are you talking about? It's just Takako. 
Besides, you know as well as I do that this month's allowance is almost used up. It's a free meal. Well, yeah, but... Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh, come on, uh, let's go. I can't relax yet. I have to keep my eye on her. I know she'll launch another attack. Why at this time of year? Bathing suits? What is she up to this time? Hey, I got a question. Why are you shopping for swimsuits? It's not even summer. Uh, sorry. See, what happened was I got invited to a spa by a friend of mine. Anyway, hurry up and pick one. That way we can get to your place quicker. Good idea. We'll just see how long it takes before you change your tune. Preparation for today's day. I thought I'd tone up my figure. 99? 100? I've also studied lots of model magazines to find out which poses are the most alert. <laughs> this will keep Seiji's eyes glued to only one thing. Me. <laughs> to me. Great! We're done. Uh, now, what do you say we get to that food? Ugh. There's still a few more I'd like to try on. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Seiji sure does bring new meaning to the word clueless. I might be able to wait a little longer, but I don't think my stomach can. Uh, oh, brother. Can your stomach wait for me to at least go pay? Right about now. Okay. It's getting chilly. Do you feel cold? Huh? for a better setting than this. The pig warm up his heart with a kiss and a romantic setting plan. You should be more concerned about yourself than me. Uh -uh. Just being with you is enough to warm me even when it's cold outside. That's what's so charming about you. <sighs> Your hands feel so cold. Don't worry, I know a way to warm you up. Takako. Here it comes! There's something on your shoulder. Jeez, it was just a bug. You don't have to go freaking out like that. Say, uh, thanks for having me over. Uh, where's the rest of your family? It just so happens that they're out of town on a trip today. <laughs> so how do you like these apples? I saved my allowance for months so I could send my parents somewhere far away. All right. That means we can totally pig out. <laughs> lucky me, lucky me. Oh, Seiji. I'll go get dinner ready, so just wait in my room, okay? Well, what do you know? Her room's a lot more girly than I expected it to be. It sure is. I thought it'd be full of reference books and stuff, but instead it's all romance novels and girls' manga. And look at all the stuffed animals she's got. <gasps> Hey, this cut that out! <laughs> this is, like, totally different than the Takako I know from school. When I see her there, she never shows any kind of feminine side. Huh? What's this? 
How about some juice while you wait? <gasps> you dumbass! What makes you think you can just go through people's oh, things well, like that? It's just that I noticed I was in that picture. D don't get the wrong idea, all right? Just because you happen to be in the background of one of my favorite pictures, it doesn't really mean... It doesn't really mean anything. I mean, I mean, it really can't be helped! I really, 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 really like you, so it really, 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 really can't be helped! I've never felt this way about anybody in my life! I like you so much! In fact, I think I love you! I want to kiss you! I want to marry you! Please love me! Be with me for the rest of my life! <sighs> and so, the two were joined. And they, like, lived happily ever after. Happily ever after! Damn it! That was the perfect chance to confess naturally! Takako, are you alright? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Now I have no choice but to use the final plan. <sighs> I didn't realize how dirty I'd gotten. I'm gonna go take a quick bath. Sure. Oh yeah, and if you need the bathroom, you go down the stairs and it's on the left. Don't you go be a peeping Tom, okay? Sure. So if you need to use the restroom after drinking all that juice, the toilet is right next door to the bath. Sure. I tend to doze off when I take a bath, and I wouldn't notice someone peeping on me at all. So you better swear you're not going to peep. Sure. Uh... Oh, poor girl. Why'd she tell me something like that? <laughs> Don't ask. Ever since the day he rescued me, Seiji's always been on my mind. I had concocted the perfect plans for our first date today. So why? <gasps> I've dropped a thousand hints, but he's so thick-headed he hasn't even noticed a fraction of my appeal. But my killer take responsibility one, two, three plan is sure to work, guaranteed! Ah! No, wait, I didn't mean to! No, I can never ever get married! Miss Ayase, I swear I'll protect you the rest of my life. Go out with me so we can get married! Seiji! Miss Ayase! Seiji! Miss Ayase! Oh, Seiji! Takako! Seiji! Takako! Seiji baby! Taka baby! Seiji baby! Taka baby! <sighs> He's taking forever. When is he gonna peep already? I can't take too much more of the steam. Huh? I think he's here. Takako? Uh... Seiji? Is it just me, or do you smell something burning? Huh? Sorry, but I had to take off. Don't push yourself. Try to get some rest. The stew was a little burnt, but it was good. See ya, Seiji. That guy. <laughs> what? I was in the bath and naked? Why? How the hell am I 
supposed to look him in the eye tomorrow now that that happened? I know we had to leave her by herself and all, but I'm sure she's okay. You just don't want to cause her any unnecessary embarrassment, right? I know how you feel, and you did the right thing! Well, it's not exactly like I did anything. You don't have to be shy about it. Hey, who's being shy? <laughs> hmm? Something else on your mind? Let's go for a walk, shall we? A walk? We've been walking around all freaking day. I'm sorry, but the food that Takako made wasn't even edible, and now we're so broke that all I feel like doing is crying. When we get home, I'll make Shane Majora's love-filled hamburger stick just for you! Huh. Oh. Uh, you don't want any? Seiji? Seiji? What gives? Midori's voice sounds all loud and booming. Are you so calm? This is totally screwed up. I hate this! I don't want to be the right hand! Stop! Ah! 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 Stop! Stop screaming! Do you have any idea how loud you are? Ah! Stop it! It's a nightmare. Please don't feel so bad. I mean, after all, it was definitely a mysterious thing when I turned into your hand for no apparent reason. But look at the bright side. It's just the opposite, so it's not that big a difference. Huge difference! <laughs> this sucks. I know that look. What's so funny? Nothing. Come on, out with it. Well, since you and I have switched places. Yeah, and? And with you being tiny, you look cuter than before. Ah, oh, show it up your ass! <laughs> mm. You're the one who told me to tell you it's mm -hmm. over! Terrible thing if you caught a cold, so there's no time to waste. Let's go buy you some clothes. <laughs> uh, did you say something, Seiji? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Are you trying to suffocate me? <sighs> this way, it should be easy enough for you to breathe or talk if you need to. However, when people are watching, you have to stop breathing and make sure you keep perfectly still. It sure is cramped being like this. I'm so stiff and it's not too easy to breathe either. You're a lot tougher than you look if you can put up with this crap all the time. That's because I have a lot of experience of being your right hand. But it's not so bad once you get used to it. I don't want to get used to it! Now you listen to me! I've got absolutely no intention of staying like this forever! She wasn't even listening to a word I just said. You know, it's been so long since I've walked on my own two feet like this. It really looks like Autumn now. Oh, hey, Seiji, look! My hand can almost reach the sky! It feels like I grew taller all of a sudden! Well, technically you just did, dummy. Oh, oh look! Acorns! Take a look at this acorn, Seiji. Isn't it so cute and tiny? No, that acorn looks pretty damn huge to me right now. I'm telling you, there is no way I'm going to be able to finish this. Are you sure? Because I'm not used to eating that much. I'd feel like a total pig. I don't care about that. Just figure out a better way to divvy up the portions already. Mm. <laughs> Delicious! Mm, yeah, come to think of it, we didn't even eat breakfast. Mm. 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 Oh, that's right! 
<laughs> what? What? <laughs> the reason we went out in the first place was to buy you some clothes. Here I am just thinking about myself. Ah, don't worry about it. I never get sick. Besides, I'm not going to get a cold just because we took a little detour. Let's take our time. <laughs> See, I knew it. We need to hurry. I told you I'm all right. That won't do it all. <laughs> Even if you say otherwise, I'm the one who's doing the walking here. <laughs> That's what the hell? That's no fair. Stop treating me like I'm just a right hand. Hey, Midori. Midori. Yes, Angie. Midori, you need to stop freaking out. I'm sorry, but why are you on my right hand now? You got me. When I woke up, I was just like this. Oh my gosh! You need something to wear! It's nothing but my clothes? Even if they were my clothes, they wouldn't exactly fit right now. I know. You remember that shop we went to to buy you some clothes? Maybe there's something I can wear there. Oh yeah! You mean that anime shop! But still, I have to find you some clothes so you don't have to be naked until then. Oh, I know! I imagine it's a bit on the tight side, but you only have to wear it until we find you something else. Don't you have anything else? Well, there's I Love Seiji more than life. Mad about Seiji. Oh, yeah, how about this one? It's my latest design. It's a version where our names are underneath the love umbrella. I'll ah! stick with what I've got on. Suit yourself, but I gotta get changed. Hey, excuse me! I'm sorry. Just for the record, I had my eyes closed, all right? It's not like I want to see your tiny boobs anyway. All right. I'm hungry. What are we going to do about breakfast? I was planning on chopping up some cabbage and making scrambled eggs for the two of us, but there's a knack to it, and I'm not sure if you can... You're not sure if I can do it, is that it? Well, come on, I'll show you what I've got! <laughs> you don't really need to show off how determined you are right now. Nah, it's simple. You just approach it the same way you would sports. Yeah! 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 Here's the wind-up and the pitch! And here comes the famous Sawamura Nakamura! He's out of there! Sawamura takes the series! What do you think of my cooking skills now? Ha! <laughs> Looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. Hey, come on, wake up! Don't you want to enjoy my masterpiece? Wake up! Huh? Ah, come on, hey! Hey, Midori! Well, this place hasn't changed. Still smelly, still creepy. Given the circumstances, beggars can't be choosers. Now let's see, where do they keep the boy dolls? Huh? Oh, oh, look at all this amazing stuff! That's so adorable! What in the hell are you talking about, Midori? Superhero costumes are not adorable! Oh, but I think this look really works for you. You have one of those TV show Heroes of Justice personalities. And being able to transform like this is a rare opportunity. And look, they also sell the motorcycle as a set. Wow, you really do look like a superhero. I don't give a crap about transforming. Just find me some clothes that'll keep me warm. Well, if you say so, too bad. This way you'll be all right, even if it snows. Plus, you can go camping. See, it comes with a tent, too. I have no intention of going camping, and I do not need a friggin' tent! Wow, this cooking gear looks just like the real thing. Look, it even has rice grains inside. This is mm. almost like playing house. You truly are enjoying yourself, aren't you? Wow, there are just so many different types of clothes here. It makes me feel like a little girl all over again playing dress-up dolls. I had a feeling she wasn't listening to me. Huh, 
wrong. The different soldier dolls even have individual names. George, Tom, Mike, they all look so handsome and strong. But if I had to choose which one was the most handsome, I'd say it's you, Seiji. <laughs> My apologies, soldier dolls. Huh? <sighs> oh, that creep! Camera phone bastard! Oh, if I don't watch my step! What the hell is this? She's got a person stuck on her right hand! Stop it, please! Stop it! You get the hell away from Midori! It really talked! That's so neat! Hey, let me see! Show, show me! me. No, no, hey, me! You need to show me right now, please! I can't justify putting Midori in danger. Hey, Midori! Midori! <laughs> Damn it! I can't stand this any longer! What are you doing? What's your problem, man? Let me go! Isn't that... Huh? You were using the camera in your cell phone to snap dirty pictures of that girl just now. No, I wasn't. It's not like you have any proof. Ah! Hmm. Ah! What do you think you're doing? A person like you has no right to come into a store like this. Why don't you have some pride in yourself, man? You'll ruin the day you did that! Uh, hey, are you feeling all right? Yeah... Uh, do I know you from somewhere? It, it must be your imagination. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for helping me just now. Normally, I would have kicked the snot out of somebody like that. There wasn't any harm done to me. Besides, Shuichi helped me out, so it's okay. Mm. What's wrong, Seiji? Ah, nothing. I was just thinking about how sucky it is to be a right hand. that that place is way too dangerous for me to go into and not have something bad happen. I don't care if something bad happens. I don't want to keep wearing this stupid shirt. I hate this thing. What are we going to do? I'll figure it out. Oh, yeah? Well, how? I don't know. Wait a second. Let's find a fabric store and buy all the cloth we need to make you some clothes. But the clothes you make suck. Listen here, little man. I've improved my sewing skills quite a bit, and I see no reason why I couldn't handle making men's clothing, too. Oh, come on. Give me a break. It'll be a cold day in hell before I let you embroider I love Midori or Mad About Midori on my shirt. Oh, now that you mention it, that might be too presumptuous. Uh... But you're right. It does need some sort of fashion statement. I shouldn't have said anything. Midori? Huh? Well, I thought that was you, Midori. Oh, Benico. So how are you doing these days? Um, what do you mean? You know what I mean. How are you doing in terms of your health? Oh, right, yeah, about that. <coughs> hmm? I, I'm better for the most part. But I was resting for so long that now I only go out for short periods of time. I'm still rehabilitating. Oh no, that was a bunch of lies. Well, that's great. I'm glad to hear it. Huh? Everyone's been so worried about you. Oh, Benico. Why don't we go have some tea or something? Uh, but I have to... It's all uh, right. It's like more rehabilitation. I'm sorry if I was being pushy, Midori. I wasn't, was I? Oh, no. No, you weren't. Thanks for waiting. Here you go. Thanks so much. Yes, thank you. Take your time. Enjoy. Do you take milk and sugar? Sure, I like plenty. <laughs> uh, uh, that is, I used to use a lot, but now I'm on a diet, so I just drink a black. 
What are you talking about? You're not what I'd call overweight. A diet's the last thing you should be on if you've been sick. It's best to eat and drink things that your body craves. For example, I order coffee like any typical adult would. But you know the coffee milk they have at the bakery? That's my favorite. It's your favorite too? Uh-huh. Now that's good! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Do you remember that upperclassman Yoshizaka, the one who's the captain of the tennis club? You know, from when we took a trial membership just to get a closer look at him? Oh, uh, sure. Well, Kimura from our class told him she loves him! Huh? And then, as it turns out, they've both been interested in each other ever since she first joined the club! You know, you've got to get your nerve up to say stuff like that. Well, that's not to say just anyone can get things to work out just by getting their nerve up. <laughs> I myself have been having a bit of a dry spell lately. For Christ's sake, what's it take for a girl to get noticed? <laughs> Thank goodness. I finally got you to laugh. Oh, uh... I was just a little worried because you seem kind of depressed. No, I've got to go or I'm going to be late. Already? I've got a drawing lesson. I've been studying privately. See, I'm trying to get into Tokyo School of the Arts. Oh? Sorry to drink and run like this. Let's do this again soon, okay? Ciao! Thank you. Please come again. <laughs> I know they say life goes on, but still I... I'm sorry you had to say all that for me. You even had to lie. <sighs> what? What's the matter? I'm sorry. I don't really know. I just... <sighs> Go after her. You've got to hurry and catch her, and then you've got to really talk to her! To normal. normal. Um. No, never mind. Why are you asking me that now? Yeah, I guess you're right. It is kind of a dumb question since you've been telling me I've been a burden all along. <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. No, it's bothering you. Say it. Okay. I had a strange dream. A dream? That's right. It was a dream where you had turned into my right hand instead. And so, there were a lot of things I hadn't realized until now. They weren't all happy things, either. 
But even so, you still... So did I. <gasps> I had the same dream, that I had turned into your right hand. Huh? I felt like I finally understood how you must feel, at least a little bit. So, let's not talk about burdens anymore. That's just a burden itself. I'm going to bed. Looks like we're stuck with tofu steak until allowance day. It's all right, it's all right. I'll take the leftovers and whip up something tasty. Oh, is something wrong, Seiji? Feels like somebody's watching me. Huh? short, that's how I remembered everything. And I also remember the fact that Midori and I have become friends now. Well, what do you know? Isn't that swell? Yeah, it really is. Yeah. No, it is not swell! Listen here, if you're her friend, you don't sneak around like a pervert taking her picture. Yeah, about that. Internet idol? Midori's little room? <laughs> what? 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 What the hell is this? Midori's official website. I can see that, asshole! <laughs> Well, as it turns out, it's really popular. Oh. See? Didn't the pictures come out really cute? Yeah, they're definitely cute. I mean, you sneaky picture-snapping pervert! You, you don't understand. The only time you can really get pictures of these vivid expressions is when she's not aware of the camera. Oh, yeah, I, I guess that's true. I mean... That's no freaking excuse! I want you to shut this website down right now! But Midori has so many fans! Uh, fans? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this might not be so bad, aren't you? I would never even dream of thinking such a thing! Yeah, right. In any case, if you don't shut down that site quick, I'm gonna smash that computer of yours into tiny pieces. Ooh, scary! Oh, well, all right. If you go that far, I'll shut it down. In return, can I ask you for a favor? Like what kind? I have a little job I'd like you to do. Of course, I'm willing to pay you for your time. A paid job? Aren't you worried about living expenses? Uh... Uh, you asshole! My money situation is none of your freaking business! No fighting! Ah! I'll split it 50-50. Huh? Seiji? What, what is this thing? It's the country's biggest comic convention, the Wonder Comic Bazaar. There's about 100,000 people here. 100,000? So what do you need my help for, anyway, in a place like this? Huh? Shuichi? All right, photo op. Um... Would you mind doing a different pose? Not at all. Uh, sorry. I just can't help myself when it comes to Marin cosplayers. Cosplayers? Those are people who dress up like a character from their favorite anime or video game. There's more than a few cute girls here, too. Oh, stop <laughs> that, Shuichi! Uh, don't get mad about that, Marin. Those girls are nothing more than cosplayers. Besides, there's no way an ideal girl like you could exist in the real world. You're my one and only, right? Oh, 
Shuichi, you're such a sweet talker. <laughs> Cut that out, Marin. Everyone's watching. <gasps> and so, here we are. <gasps> so this is what? As you see, our fan circle is renting a booth for the day. A booth? You can sit behind the booth with me and help me sell stuff. Like hell I will! <laughs> Who the hell said you could exploit her like this? Well, I wasn't expecting it to, but that homepage I showed you got really popular. So I thought to myself, hey, why not do some mass production and marketing? See? Check it out! Ta-da! Little Devil Midori. This one's Princess Midori. And for hardcore fans, Widow in Mourning Midori. <laughs> Oh, her sorrowful eyes are so hot. Are you all right? I think I've just completely lost my will to live. So you see, I tried my hand at more than one version. And look at this. When you wear one in each hand, it's two times the fun. And watch what happens when you pull the string. <laughs> and here's the best part. The built-in massager even works out stiff shoulders. So, welcome aboard. Forget uh, it! And don't sell that stuff either! What? You mean I can't? You heard me? No! But they're so adorable! That's not the point, idiot! That's too bad. You know, I was thinking I'd give you half the profits, both from the sales made here and from Midori's modeling fees. Huh? Hey, step right up. Step right up. Listen. Huh? What do you say you let me take a shot at drumming up business, too? You <laughs> dummy, do you have any idea what kind of scene it would cause if you got found out? I like that idea. Huh? <laughs> One and all, step right up! The fully articulated puppet Midori is on sale right over here! Come on over! Hey, I don't know about this. Are you sure this is such a good idea? What if someone figures it out? Relax, relax. As long as we say you're a ventriloquist and this is just a prototype, no one will suspect a thing. She sure is a cutie. I know what that is. It's from that website. Midori, from Midori's little room. That looks pretty heavily aimed at niche fans, but let's check it out. Step right up! Yes, step right up! No way! Look at the size of this crowd! Thank you. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you very much! Thanks, Thanks and come, come again! again. What? You're completely sold out already? Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sorry, really. Ugh, I'm worn out. Here, have some coffee. Huh? <laughs> we got so busy, I thought I was gonna pass out. Huh? Yeah. What, what gives? Excuse me, are you willing to sell me that one? Ah! No, no, we can't. This is the, uh, um, uh, the, the prototype. Isn't that right, Seiji? Yeah, right. I'll pay you $200 for the prototype. No, no, you see, it's just I'll that... I'll give you 250 300 350 Hey, 500, hey, wait a minute. 100 1000 200 1600 1900! 1950! 1951! Hey, what are we gonna do? This crowd's totally out of control! Eight, Whoa, what do we do now, Sage? $5,000! Look, it's him! It's Masami Kimoto! It really is! It's sure Jeff Kimoto! That's Masami Kimoto, <laughs> famous for killing evil governors in TV dramas and being a lady killer in real life. Hmm. Why is an actor like him here? Don't you know? He's a notorious collector of action figures and dolls. Really? <laughs> it seems mine was the winning bid. You can hand it over now. I've had just about enough of you people! I never said this one was for sale! Listen, you. She's extremely valuable to me. I don't care how much money you pile up. I'm never going to sell her. Seiji? Huh? I didn't know you cared about me so much. Would you shut your mouth? This is not the time for your silly sappiness. <laughs> huh? What a magnificently heartfelt sentiment. You, sir, are most certainly a true doll maniac. Huh? We should all follow his example. Yes, 
He has shown us the light. Everybody just calm down. How about that, people? We've met a consummate doll enthusiast. No, dare I say it, he's a doll god, man. Oh, I say we all take a picture together. What the hell? Let it stop! Let me go, you stupid freaks! I don't want to be in any of your stupid pictures! Come on, everyone. Smile, smile. Seiji became a god that day. The good stuff. Are you sure it's all right for us to spend so much on food? Ah, we got plenty to go around after Shuichi paid us all that dough. And I don't know about you, but I like my steaks made of meat, not tofu. Huh? Ah. What's the matter? I think I smell something. <laughs> <laughs> So, what's the problem? Actually, it seems I've fallen in love. Huh? Y you mean, she's a girl, not a doll? Uh-huh. <laughs> ah, well, hey, that's great news. <laughs> this means you can finally break away from that screwed-up world you live in. <laughs> Sanji, that was saying a little too much. I've never huh? felt this way before. This throbbing feeling in my heart. What do you think I should do? I say you should just walk right up to her and tell her. Tell her? Well, that's it then. Good luck. But I... When it comes to dolls, I know everything there is to know. But when it comes to real girls, it'd be an understatement to say I'm clueless. Well, I can't argue with you there, Shuichi. I bet you've got plenty of experience with this kind of thing, right, Seiji? Uh, sort of. <laughs> if you don't count the 20 times I've struck out already. So, yeah, good luck. Don't just say that and walk away. You're the only one I can turn to for something like this. If you help me out, I'll give you a limited edition Good Morning Marin doll to thank you. Good morning! <laughs> no thank you! Uh, you know what, Seiji? We should really help him out. Huh? Whose side are you on? Shuichi here has finally fallen in love with a human girl, and that means something. He trusts you to help him, and that means something, too. <sighs> Fine, whatever. I'll go along with it. <laughs> Are you serious, Seiji? Yeah. A man means what he says. I'm so happy for you, Shuichi. You go for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Midori. I promise I will. From up here, you can watch her as she goes to her after-school tutor. Oh, I see. Damn it. Why do I have to help him get a girlfriend when I don't even have one myself? <gasps> there she is! There she is! That's her! That's weird. I think I've seen her somewhere. I have too. I knew you were gonna say that. This is where you've seen her. She's a dead ringer for my little Mary. <laughs> Oh, I was so surprised the first time I saw her. What's more, she's even perfectly proportional. And if you thought her charm stopped there, you'd be wrong. Just take a look. Oh, oh, what? I, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. oh that clumsiness is awesome. She's Marin, body and soul. Oh, how I'd love to get her to cosplay for me. Morning, girl Marin. Maybe we should start with the Ultra Nurse costume instead. Planet Girl Marin, Ultra Nurse. In the name of the stars, I will inject you. <laughs> Holy crap. He really doesn't think about anything but dress up dolls. First, let's see what you're going to wear for me. I just can't decide. <laughs> Tell me, which one do you like? Listen to this, Marin. Maybe this throbbing in my chest means I'm a heartthrob. 
Uh, I have got to save her. You know? She has no idea what a perverted weirdo this guy is. So tell me, Seiji. Huh? Uh -huh. I want to win her heart, so what do you think I should say to her? Please, Seiji. Show Taki the way. Huh? All right, I'll tell you. Seiji? What? Well, what do I do? But you know... Know what? It ain't working. Huh? The way you are right now, you haven't got enough manliness. In your state, I'm pretty sure you'll get turned down. No! Uh, uh, no. What should I do? Well, I'm gonna teach you personally what manliness is all about. Huh? Really? <laughs> Sensei, thank you very much. All right, follow me, Shuichi. Roger! <laughs> Here she comes. Shuichi Takamizawa, right now you're a complete man. A man among men! Y you think so? Take my word for it, she's gonna be putty in your hands. Right, Midori? Uh, right! Now be all that you can be! Show me what the reborn you can do! Yeah! Here I go! Godspeed, Takamizawa! Uh, I'm sorry! Ah! Yo, hot stuff! There's something I need to rap with you about. <laughs> Any girl would be scared of someone dressed up in that gangbanger outfit. Even if he confesses his love, she'll never go for it. This isn't very nice to Shuichi, but after all, it's for her sake. Here it comes. You look really cool. What? Huh? Really? Oh, yeah, totally awesome. <laughs> no way! That's impossible! This isn't good, Seiji. The plan is backfiring. Damn. Ah, what the hell. I have no choice but to go to plan B. Uh, uh. Huh? So, you said you wanted to talk about something with me? Uh, oh, right. Actually, I... That is... What I wanted to know is... Hey, you with the face! Uh, 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 uh... Me? That's a pretty hot babe standing there. I don't suppose she's with you, is she? Um, excuse me. May I ask who you are? It doesn't matter who I am, you dumbass punk. Leave the broad here and split before I whack you. Got it? Come on, Shuichi, run. Get out of here. One way or the other, your name's gonna end up in the papers if you don't leave. Shuichi? Huh? Huh? You can't have her! I'll never let someone like you have her! Even if you do beat me up! I'd even die before I handed her over to the likes of you! Takamizawa? Shuichi, you care about her that much? Did I make a mistake? Am I the one who's wrong here? Am I? Seiji? Huh? I'm starting to think that maybe we've misunderstood Shuichi, you know? You're right. It seems like he's a different person than he was yesterday. He's the real thing, a real man's man. Yeah! Oh well, I'll just have to lose on purpose and let Shuichi look like the hero today. Huh? You little punk! We had a good vibe going and you had to go and ruin it! You stupid asshole! You think you can get away with doing this to Yuma Takaguchi of Haruhara Girls High School? Huh? <laughs> now, why don't you and I go and get some tea somewhere, you big cutie? Uh, uh Shuichi? This isn't... 
This isn't my little Marin at all! No! Wait for me! You cute little thing, you! No! You're not like Marin! Come on, wait for me! Get away from me! In the end, Shuichi was the same as he ever was. Well, you know the real Marin will always be my number one. Oh, I won't forgive you the next time you're unfaithful. <laughs> Sorry about that. I love you. Yay! My number one is, of course, Seiji. No matter what happens, that won't change. That's why I hope someday I'll be his number one. Who's there? Over here, Coda. Is that Midori? Here, take my umbrella or you'll catch a cold. Why is that? Because it's raining and... Huh? <laughs> You're funny, Coda. That was weird. <laughs> well, I thought it was. So, what you reading? Not telling. Oh, come on. You gotta tell me. Don't laugh. Okay. You promise? I promise. Snow White? Huh? Just a dream. A prince's kiss. Snow White will then awaken. Ah! Hey, I know. We should do a duet next. Hey, good idea. Hey, Seiji, how about it? Uh, sure. Let's do it! Oh man, this is it! This is the kind of life a guy should have in high school! Oh no, Seiji. You're getting carried away with these girls. Let's put in my favorite song, Everybody Wang Chong, tonight. Okay, 2014. Look, you guys, do I really have to come out? It's three guys and two girls, so yes, you have to come out. Hurry up! All right, all right, I'm coming. Uh, room 222, here it is. Uh, uh, three guys are Sawamura and his friends? Oh no, Sage is gonna think I'm easy or something. All right, Takako, just step away from the group date. But what if he goes off and hooks up with one of those other girls? gonna do hey you gotta sing something uh, too well I uh, uh mm. oh she's so hot oh my gosh he totally doesn't realize that it's me uh, and what is that strange look he's giving me oh yeah she's so my type <laughs> After 17 years and four months of determination, I am not gonna screw this one up. 
So is she the one you want, Seiji? Mm-hmm. All right, bro, then leave it to me. Okay, I think it's time to play the king game! Yeah! Okay, I'm the king, and what the king says is... Absolute! Absolute. Now, what do I have here, you guys? A and D! Uh, me? <laughs> Look, it's Taka's! Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Why is this happening to me? Hey! Well, what do you know? You did it, Sabu! You did it, Sabu! You did it! Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You guys are gonna eat the Pocky Stick from both sides! Yeah! yeah! Do I have to? Just bite down, but uh, not too hard. All right, Seiji, man up. Well, the king has spoken. No, never! No way! No, no! <laughs> yeah! On your mark! Get to go! Does this mean a kiss? Yeah, like I'm gonna let that happen! <laughs> Seventeen years and four months of determination! I need this kiss right now! How could the first kiss I've dreamed about with Sawamura be like this? But I don't care. Just let it happen. Yeah, I'm sure it's just wonderful. Man, I didn't even get her cell number. I was so close, too. Sage, you have to listen to me. A kiss between a young man and a woman means... Shut up! <laughs> when are you going to give me my life back? Uh, uh, huh? What's the matter? I feel like there's someone watching me. Huh? Oh. There's no one there. Must be my imagination. Dog of Sakuradamon High School, Seiji Sawamura. I gotta do this for Midori. No matter what, I won't let him scare me. The measure of angle alpha in terms of the radius is known as one radian. So, looking at huh? angle B measured in radians, the angle is... Hmm. Anyone? Hey, Takako. Is something the matter? No, I'm fine. <laughs> Leave me alone. Hey, what's with the attitude? I'm worried about you and you're just being snotty. It's none of your business. Nobody asked you to be worried about me. So beat it. Oh, really? All right, then fine. I'm sorry I asked. Why can't I just... just be honest with him? Ah, uh, excuse me. Uh, how do you do? I'm Koda 
Shingyoji, freshman at Ogurabashi High School. <laughs> Ogurabashi? Uh, yes. Kota. All right. To tell you the truth, I need to talk to you about my classmate. You know her, a girl named Midori Kasugano. Uh, Midori? So, what's this all about? Right, uh, the girl I mentioned before, Midori Kasugano, she's an old friend of mine. Currently, she's contracted an unidentified sleeping sickness. The reason I'm telling you this is that Midori has had a crush on you ever since middle school. She used to watch you from afar all the time. You see, Midori is a naturally shy young lady, and sometimes it can be difficult for her to express her feelings very well, if at all. Huh. That's strange. That seems a lot different from how she is now. Mr. Sawamura. Huh? Please. What? I don't know why, but I think you might be the only person who could possibly wake Midori up. So please, if you would, I want you to come with me to her home. Oh, oh no, Midori's house. Oh, when I was there before, everyone thought I was a pervert trying to cop a feel, and I had to run for my life. How can I dare show my face there now? I beg of you. Uh, hey, um... Please, Mr. Sawamura, come with me to Midori's estate. Midori. What do we do? He's really worried about you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kota. I mean, I'm really busy right now, you know? I'm sorry. It's just not a good time for me right now. So please, understand, I just can't help you. Could you please reconsider? Please? I'm sorry. Huh? Uh, it's okay. You don't have to apologize. I'm the one who should be sorry for making such a one-sided request. Say, are you and that girl Midori by any chance? Uh, uh, no, 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 no! I'm just her childhood friend and her classmate and we've been friends for so long and that's it. Huh. Well, it seems like this Midori is a pretty lucky girl. Huh? Hmm. You know, it's nice to have a friend who cares this much about you. Hmm. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry, this was just a bit unexpected. You know, Seiji, you really aren't the type of person that everyone makes you out to be. Huh? Actually, deep down, I was rather frightened until very recently. Well, I don't exactly have the best reputation in this town. It's no wonder. I was afraid if I made you the tiniest bit angry, I'd get beaten up, dragged around behind your bike, and finally thrown into Tokyo Bay. Or else handed over to the Yakuza. Or thrown into a 24-hour live internet room where my humiliating life would be broadcast to the entire world. There were a lot of things I was afraid you might do. Oh, give me a break! I'm sorry. But after talking to you, I feel I finally understand the real Seiji. I feel like I understand just a little, uh, the reason why Midori grew so fond of you. Hmm. I think I'll be on my way now. Sure, I'll see you around. <sighs> Things can't just keep going on like this forever, can they? Classmates are like. Let's go in. Um, 
I'm Ihara, and I did kendo back in middle school. Whoa. But it was only for three days, though. <laughs> right. Next up. Yes, sir. I'm Beniko Iwasaki, and I'm from Awayuki Middle School. I have more hobbies than I know what to do with. <laughs> I want everyone to have an awesome high school life from here on out. Rock on! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, then. Next person. Well, who's next, then? Oh, oh, uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh... You can do it, Midori. Midori? Midori Kasagano. I hope we all do well. Thank you. Oh, -ho, done already. Okay, next. Yes, sir. I'm Yui Kayama. I'm from Hoshikawa Middle School. I like School. this. I can never seem to say the right thing. No matter how much I may want to express my feelings. Kasugano! Uh, uh, yes, sir! I mean, huh? What's the matter? You were kind of spacing out. Here's to our future! Oh, yeah, to our future, right. Listen up, girls. Big news. I heard there's this totally hot senior in the tennis club. I know. Isn't that Captain Yoshizaka? Aren't trial membership starting up? I say we all go check him out. Good idea. Let's do it. I want to go, too. What about you, Benniko? Of course. You have to come, too, Midori. Uh, I don't know. You shouldn't be such a homebody. You're in high school now. These are going to be the best years of our lives. So let's go for it. Uh, okay. All right, girls. It's time for us to submit a trial membership. Yeah! Benico's so lucky. She knows how to say what's on her mind. Can I just tell you right now that, like, Captain Yoshizaka was, like, totally awesome. But he was surrounded by female members and we couldn't even get close. I don't know. He really wasn't my type. Huh? Why not? Hmm, I guess he was just too much of a pretty boy for me. Then what kind do you go for? Let's see now. If someone's gonna be my boyfriend, he needs to be more manly, more dependable. That's the ideal guy, you know? Huh? So, Kasugano, do you have a boyfriend or someone you like? Uh, a boyfriend? Well... What? Is there someone that you like? So have you told him? No, no way, I couldn't. Come on now. If you fall in love, you need to let the guy know. <gasps> Midori, feelings don't carry across just by being felt. Don't carry across just by being felt. Even I understand that. Today's the day I tell him. I need to be brave. You can do it, Midori. Feelings don't carry across just by being felt. Feelings don't carry across just by being felt. I have feelings that I want you to know about. What are you doing up at this hour? Go on, get some sleep. Seiji? Mm. I just wanted to tell you that I love you, Seiji. I know that. You tell me that all the time. I'm going to sleep. Okay. Good night, then. Code. Please, Mr. Sawamura. Come 
with me to Midori's estate. Well, it seems like this Midori's a pretty lucky girl. Huh? You know, it's nice to have a friend who cares this much about you. Like Seiji said, I'm very lucky. Thanks, Koda. But I like things better. The way that they are. Snow White awoke once the prince kissed her. Get this differential and integral stuff at all. Oh, wait a minute. Doesn't she go to that elite high school, Ogurabashi? If I got her to take the test tomorrow. Hey, Midori, I was thinking that you and I could play a game together. A game? That's great. All right. If I could play with you, then that's all that matters. We'll play rock, paper, scissors. And the loser has to do whatever the winner says. <laughs> Uh, why are you blushing so much? <laughs> Here we go. Ready! One, One two, two, three! Hey, look! Over there! Mm -hmm. uh, best two out of three, okay? We are not done yet. Okay! One, One two, two, three! three. Hey, look! Down uh, there! That was just a warm-up. This time, you're going down. I one, two, three! Uh-oh, look up there! <laughs> I won, I won! But I was always the rock, paper, scissors champion. Oh, well, nothing lasts forever. Uh, you know how you said the loser has to do what the winner says? Huh? Uh, yeah, what about it? Well, since I won, can I really ask you for anything at all? Of course! A real man keeps his word. I'll buy you new clothes or whatever you need. Then... Hmm? I want you to tell me that you love me, please. <gasps> what kind of stupid crap is that? You know I can't say that! Uh, but you said the winner could ask for anything! <gasps> Damn it, does she ever give up on this love stuff? Well, it's alright if it's a lie. I guess I just wanted to hear those words come out of your mouth. I guess that's the only reason. <clears throat> okay, fine. Uh, all I have to do is just say it, right? Yes! Yeah, okay, okay, I just have to say this one thing, and then it'll be over and done with. A real man is true to his word, Seiji! <gasps> I l l l l Next time, okay? Uh, no, Seiji, please don't do this to me! Pipe down. I don't have time for this. I got homework to do. 
Jeez, it's not like I haven't said it to plenty of other girls before. I love you! Sorry! Huh? Midori said it's all right, even if it's a lie, so why can't I say it? Just say I love you, damn it! Seiji, I have something that's hmm? really, really important I need to tell you. I love you a ton! <laughs> you never really wanted to say it, so I thought I would try first. <laughs> Silly me. Just say it all night if you want. <laughs> ah, I need to study! I'll be up all night at this! You just go on and get some sleep now, okay? Okay. Hmm? Um kiri kiri basara un hata Wata This evil spirit seems to be quite resolute. An hour's lapsed with no change. Please bring in the next person. <gasps> you find I different from the general Japanese monk! With 4,000 year Chinese Qi Kong technique, progress solved! We thank you for your efforts. Ma'am, honestly, I really don't think that any of these so called gurus are going to be the ones that are going to save Midori's life. Kota, listen. I don't care anymore how it happens. Anyone will do, as long as they save her. We have to do everything we can. I understand. I had kissed Sawamura then. But he had no idea that it was me! No! He was only interested in me while I was in disguise! It's not the same thing! I know. I'm gonna face this just as I am. As for today's plan... <laughs> Oh, Seiji! What is it, Takako? You can use this if you'd like! I took the liberty to organize the test material for you in a way that's easy to understand! Good gracious, Takako! You do all this for me? Thank you, Takako. You really are so dependable. Whether we're in college, in the workplace, would you be by my side? Now that I've mentioned it, I want you to be by my side for the rest of my life. Your whole life, you mean? Yes, Takako, I want you to marry me. Awesome! Look, I've already filed the paperwork with the courthouse. Takako. Seiji. Seiji. I call it the proposal with the lovely study guide plan. Yo, Takako. Oh, uh, hi, Seiji. What are you standing here grinning about all by yourself? I'm not doing anything. Your face is red. Let's see if you have a fever or something. I don't have a fever, okay? But it looks like you're sweating really bad. Well, you're wrong, okay? Sure, whatever you say. Huh? Seiji, wait, I almost forgot. Huh? So, uh, did you study enough for today's test? Yeah, I was up all night studying, but I don't know if it did me any good. I'll take that to mean no. Here. What the heck is this thing? It's a notebook that lets you easily understand the test material. I'll lend it to you. Why does it have hearts on it? You sure, Takako? Yeah, I've got it all memorized. It'll be a piece of cake. Now, don't get the wrong idea. I didn't especially make it for you, if that's what you're thinking. Wow, it's really well done. Takako's got too much time on her hands. Ah, uh, yes. I am sure you made this notebook just for Seiji. I'll borrow it then. Uh, thanks. <sighs> idiot, idiot. I'm such an idiot. Why can't I just come out and say it? When I look at Ayase, I'm reminded of the old me. How I used to be awkward and unsure of myself. But I get the feeling that Ayase is much more confident and 
courageous than I was then. Why is it? Why is Midori still asleep? What can I do about it? I beg of you! Uh, hey, listen. Please, Mr. Sawamura! Come with me to Midori's estate! I'm sorry, Kota. Huh? I mean, I'm really busy right now, you know? I'm sorry. It's just not a good time for me right now. So please, understand, I just can't help you. We have to do everything we can. That's right. We have to do everything we can. I'll try asking Seiji one more time. That punk Sawamura. There used to be so much talk about the Mad Dog and the Demon Right Hand, but rumor has it he's been under the radar lately. This is our chance to pay him back in full for what we owe him. Hey, they're talking about Seiji. Ah, uh, excuse me, but are you guys all friends of Seiji Sawamura? Uh... And who are you? Hello. I'm Kota Shingyoji from Ogurabashi High School. Anyway, I need to ask Seiji a favor. Looks like he's not out of school just yet, is he? Listen, Shorty, does it look to you like we're his little buddies? Well... Yes, I mean, you're all delinquents like him, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> However, even though he is a delinquent, Seiji is actually a very good person once you get to know him. <laughs> Don't call <laughs> us! You take us for fools or something? Why are you so angry? We've never met and you called us delinquents? Of course we're angry. You're coming with us. Uh, huh? What are you doing? Wait, please! Seiji! <laughs> Please, Seiji, help me! Hmm. Uh, it's no use. I'm not used to all-nighters. I fell asleep during that test. Keep fighting, Seiji. There's still the makeup test, you know? Ah, oh, great, another one. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, when I think about it, before I got with you like this, all I did was fight every day. I mean, I never studied for a test, and it's like things keep on changing, you know? Oh, the flag got with you like this? Now, you're missing the point here, okay? Jeez. You know what? You should listen to people more carefully. Oh. Huh? Hey, we're at the park. Yeah. You said there were somewhere you wanted to go, but this is just the neighborhood park. This is my favorite place. Huh? The first time I came here was when I wanted to tell you how I felt. But back then, I couldn't do anything but look at you. It'd be great if you and I could spend time together here. <sighs> oh, I wish time would stand still just like this. Oh, oh Seiji, I want to keep watching the fountain with you like this forever. <laughs> you know... We can come back any time. Well, that's true. All right. I'm hungry. Let's get something to eat. Okay. Hey. Thanks for coming. It's, it's like everyone here is a couple in love. Don't remind me. I bombed the test, I'm starving, and now I've got to sit here and look at all these couples with their flirting and their I love yous and their blah, blah, blah. that we started acting like a couple in love, too. <laughs> Did I just say that? 
Man, there's got to be a girl out there somewhere who's interested in me. Yeah, like I was saying, isn't there some girl out there for me? <gasps> One hamburger steak. Thanks for waiting. You took long enough. Oh. Oh, wow, she is so my type. Hot plate. Please make sure to be careful. Here you go. Uh, yes, the hot plate. Careful should be I will... Take your time and enjoy. Uh, yes, ma'am. I will be certain to do that. <laughs> Damn, that waitress is so hot. Awesome. This restaurant is the best. Seiji? Oh, Seiji. Huh? Uh, what do you think, huh? Uh, just what exactly are you doing? Ho, oh. oh ho. This is not tofu, this is real beef. Yes! Oh man, am I gonna savor this? Hmm? Osamu? I've been looking all over for you, Seiji. Sorry, I forgot my cell at home today. So what's up? There's trouble. There was some random guy looking for you at the main gate and he got kidnapped by some punks from Hansuman. I have no idea who you mean. Do you have any idea what he looked like? Who was it? Uh, the kid looked kind of like he was in middle school. I don't know anyone in middle school. Really? Well, that's so weird. Anyway, he sure didn't seem like the kind of guy who'd want to hang out with you. I mean, I mean, you know, he was really all refined and all elite, unlike you, of course. <laughs> unlike me. <laughs> you said it! <laughs> well, excuse me for being unrefined. Seiji, what if he means Koda's in trouble? Huh? You said it was those punks from Hanzaman? That's right. <sighs> Seiji, wait up! Seiji, where are you going? What are you gonna do? We're gonna go to their hangout. Those scumbags. Dragging people in who aren't even involved. Well, they're gonna pay tonight! Oh, no, this must be my fault! Shut up, you little brat! Don't you get it? This is what happens when you mouth off, you little punk! Listen, I may not have chosen my words very wisely, but to be perfectly honest, I find this treatment unjustly violent. Huh? No understanding or growth comes from violence. Rather, don't we lose more than we gain? As humans, living beings who can reach understanding through discussion, aren't we like-minded friends riding this spaceship called Earth? That's it! I'm killing the Trekkie! <sighs> Osamu, you stay here and watch, okay? Uh, you got it! <laughs> uh, all right, now what do we do? Well, it looks like this guy seems to know Sawamura, so I guess if we were to use him as bait... I don't think you'll have to, gentlemen. Well, well. If you wanted a piece of me, then all you had to do was come over and ask me. Kota! They didn't hurt you, did they, Kota? <laughs> Seiji! Hold on a minute. I'll untie the ropes once I beat the hell out of these dirty bastards. What'd you say? Quit talking trash! Try and take us if you can, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what are you, zombies? <laughs> what happened to Mad Dog Sawamura's demon right hand? Screw you. I can take a bunch of wimps like you down one-handed. Enough crap! Keep your head down, Midori. 
stop this, please! Coda! Uh, uh, you keep out of this! Whatever you say... Did it. Yeah, we sure did. Uh, excuse me? <gasps> Midori? Uh, uh, no way. What's happening? Uh, ooh, Midori, Seiji's right hand? Uh, uh, uh. Kota! Hey! Hey, Kota! Kota! Talk to me! Can you hear me, Kota? With the two of them in big trouble because of me, there was no way I could just stay quiet and watch. But because of that, Kota ultimately found out our secret. Hey, you're not too busted up, are you? I'm sorry I don't have any bandages or anything, but here's some water. No thanks, I'm fine. Okay. <gasps> but what's not fine is that I still can't believe it. I mean, I'm so confused, I just don't know what to say. Sorry. It's also my fault that you got mixed up with those delinquents. Look, that doesn't matter, all right? I'm the one who stuck my nose into your business. Besides, Midori, your mother is terribly worried about you. She's tried calling in these shady gurus. From the outside, it might seem strange, but at least I understand what makes her want to cling to such small hopes. You should just tell her that... I guess that you're doing well like this, so she won't worry. Yes. If you tell her the situation, some hint towards a solution might be found. They make progress every day in medicine. No, well, science in this case. We may not be aware of it, but there could be other cases just like Midori's. Don't you understand this? I'm sorry. Huh? Would you mind keeping this quiet for us for a little while? Huh? Look, here's the thing, Kota. I think Midori knows how worried people are. After all, it's not her fault that things got out of hand like this. In the end, this affects Midori more than anybody involved. Spirits of the Earth, liberate this girl from the realm of sleep. Well, did it work? It would seem that this girl's spirit refuses to return to the earthly plane. Oh no. <laughs> Please, sir. You must find a way to bring my Midori back to me. I beg of you. <laughs> Even if I were to again employ the power of the spirit to awaken her, the result would be the same. All we can do is wait patiently until she someday chooses to awaken on her own. Give you a gift and a scarf for 
you. <laughs> Take a look. The word love is the highlight. <laughs> love, love, Can love, you maybe love, leave love, the highlight <laughs> out once in a while? <laughs> but you know, now that I think about it, I've always dreamed of having a hand-knit scarf. Really? Do you mean it? Yeah. I mean, everyone says that handmade stuff is uncool or they're too embarrassed to wear it because they think it makes them a mama's boy. But if you ask me, they don't know what they're missing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What's so wrong about a homemade scarf my beloved girlfriend made for me, putting love and affection into each and every stitch? Oh, yeah, baby. <gasps> I'd say, baby, it's cold. Come get a little closer to me. And then the two of us would cuddle up together and wrap the one scarf around us both until we were warm and toasty, baby. Oh, yeah. I wonder if anyone will ever knit one for That's me. That's why I am. How can we ever wear a scarf together with you as my right hand? I mean, come on. Hmm. Seiji, I'll always just be a right hand in your eyes, won't I? Midori, huh? you don't think we're going to be stuck like this for the rest of our lives, do you? Uh. Huh. Christmas is coming up soon, so what do we do? <laughs> Entrance exams are next year, so we won't have time for that. Why don't we have another blind date party? How about it, Takako? Um, I'd really rather not, you guys. <laughs> That reminds me, what about that guy you met at the last party? Huh? For real! You two had such a good vibe together. Uh, I don't really think he was my type at all. He wasn't? Besides, getting to know a guy at one of those things isn't, uh, isn't exactly my style. Hmm? Hmm. Could it be you're interested in someone else, maybe? Uh, no, no, I'm not, absolutely not. See, uh, <laughs> oh! Uh -huh. This isn't what you think! No, no, really, it's not! <sighs> no way! You've been hand-knitting a scarf? It just screams for two people to wear it! La 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 la! Taka has a boyfriend! Cut it out! <laughs> well, looky here! Stick in the mud, Taka finally has a boyfriend! <laughs> Drinks are on us tonight! Whatever you want! Have a blast! <laughs> Besides, they have free refills here. <laughs> Let's toast to Takako's happiness. To, to Taka! Taka! That's not what it means. Huh? This love is... unrequited. Huh? <sighs> I've tried lots of different ways to get his attention, but all my attempts just seem to backfire. I mean, you girls know how shy I am. I don't know. Listen, do you think maybe your problem is that you're afraid to fall in love? <laughs> well, I of course don't think you're that shy, but sometimes you can be a little timid. You're also headstrong, and you have a ton of pride. Seiji's right hand, so much has happened to me. I never knew the real Seiji. Until now. His kindness, his shy side, and that while he doesn't realize it, <laughs> he's surprisingly popular. That's right, we've gone lots of places together. We even went to a spa with his sister. Everyone, lots of problems, made them worry so much. After all, it's not her fault that things got out of hand like this. In the end, this affects Midori more than anybody involved. Seiji said it's not my fault, but is that really true? 
maybe it is my fault. Because I don't want to be apart from him. You don't think we're gonna be stuck like this for the rest of our lives, do you? So are things really even the way I want them anymore? I love you. So warm. Huh? Oh, hey, she's already done with the scarf. Hey, you're gonna hurt yourself if you keep pushing it. <clears throat> Take a break already. Huh? Midori? <sighs> what the hell? <clears throat> Midori! Midori! <clears throat> Midori! Midori, where are you? Midori! <laughs> Why am I freaking out so much? I'm being such an idiot. Finally, after all this time, my right hand is back to normal. That's definitely a relief. <laughs> Besides, I bet she's happy to be back in her own body for the first time in a long while. Yeah, of course, she has to be. You know, I should just stop worrying about Midori of all things. Here, young miss, let's make sure your body is nice and clean. Oh, Midori. <laughs> Tears won't do, now will they? I promised you that I wouldn't cry. I still believe that you will be cured someday. <laughs> huh? <gasps> oh my gosh! Midori? 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 Oh, hi, Mom. Midori? Midori! Sawamura, you're late. Hmm? Oh, look! Your right hand is finally healed. Oh. What's wrong? Shut <laughs> up! Probably Sawamura. We got it together. Yeah, well, you know what? A punk is always a punk yeah. in my book. Yeah. Oh, oh, so. oh, Seiji, wait! This sure is rare. You skipping class? 
This hasn't happened in a while now, has it? Huh? Huh? I wish people would just shut up! What I do with my own time is up to me, got it? <laughs> Say you your back! Huh? Pretty cool too, but I gotta tell you, it's the badass one that's the coolest. People are watching. <laughs> uh, Seiji, are you okay? That noisemaker's gone too. Now I can look at all the porn I want to. <laughs> ah, it's been a long time, hasn't it, my dear? You know how long it's been since I've had a good pipe cleaning? Do you? Ladies and gentlemen, Seiji Sawamura is back in the ring! Play one, play one, play one, play one, play one. I need a jocks. Uh, girl, Seiji, I, I really think you could go blind if you watch well all at once. Well, can it! I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried about him too. Forget it. I'm through with Seiji Sawamura. Listen, do you think maybe your problem is that you're afraid to fall in love? Maybe I'm just scared after all. Like they said, I'd say my timing's bad, but that's nothing more than a lame excuse. Let's face it, I just have no courage. Well, at any rate... Nothing's gonna change if I don't change too. Yeah, yeah, yeah! That's my boy, Seiji Sawamura! Man, you're even a mad dog when it comes to porn! Seiji. Huh? What's the matter, man? Nothing's the matter. Let's just go. Uh... We thought we'd pay you back for what you did yesterday. People feel guilty until they give back something that they've borrowed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awfully sincere of you guys. You're right, I could stand to work out a few of my little frustrations. <laughs> <laughs> um, Seiji, there's really no way you're gonna win against this many guys. Osamu, get out of here. What? What are you saying? You know if you're fighting, then so am I! Idiot, it's not your ass I'm trying to save. Uh, it's that bag full of ass I just bought at the porn shop. Huh? Now beat it! Uh, okay, I'll go bring back help right away, Seiji! Don't bother, my demon right hand is all the help I need. It's been too long, gentlemen. Let's rumble. Man, I sure have missed you guys. You're going, huh? Wait, you're Sawamura's buddy, aren't you? Uh, huh? what is this? Oh, uh, uh, look, no, this is Seiji's. Th that's right, it's his. Look, but look, there's no time. Seiji's in, Seiji's in, Seiji Sawamura's in terrible danger. Ah, you big pervert! Why? <sighs> ah. 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 
here. Huh. Ayase. Your friend told me you were here. You know, Miyahara? Never mind. I don't want to get blood on it. Why are you being so reckless? I don't get it. I'm not. I thought you were trying to turn over a new leaf. I thought you'd started coming to school every day and not fighting anymore. Everyone in class did too. Please, Seiji, listen to me. Could you please stop talking to me like you know everything, all right? It's none of your business. <sighs> it's not none of my business. I want to know... I want to know everything about you. Everything you're thinking. What's bothering you? I want you... I, I want you to know I love you, Seiji! <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, right now, I, I just can't consider that, okay? I don't really get this whole thing myself. Seiji. There's someone else, isn't there? No way! Listen, I used to be with this girl all the time, but... Now that we're apart, I... I, I can't seem to get her out of my mind. Sounds to me like you're in love. Huh? But because you can't even see that, you're gonna lose her for sure. Look, it's not like she ran off or anything. right hand in your eyes, won't I? <laughs> well, I appreciate you being honest with me. Huh? It helped me get clear on things. It really hurts me to see you this way, so cheer up. Takako. I'm sorry. Miss, you really 
should try to eat something. Yeah. Is it true that Midori <gasps> woke up? Yes, it is. Midori? Midori? Kota's here to see you. Ha! <laughs> Midori! Kota? Oh, thank goodness. I see you're back to normal again. Hmm. So what was the cause after all? We don't really know. And Midori doesn't seem to remember any of the attempts we made to wake her. Huh? She doesn't remember? You don't remember anything, Midori? Oh, I don't see how she could remember anything. Nothing was able to coax her out of that deep sleep. But I... Yes? Uh... Nothing. You know, though... I don't understand it, but something inside feels warm and comfortable, very enjoyable, happy, yet extremely fulfilled. Now that you mention it, the shaman that came to help you said that while you were asleep, your soul traveled to some other place. Huh? He also said that if you didn't want it, it would be pointless to try to bring you back. Mom, I'm sorry. But you did come back to us, sweetheart. If I tell her the truth, Midori might go back to being Seiji's right hand again. Let's forget this. Midori, I'm just happy you're awake and healthy again. I think it's best for us that we all just try to move on. <sighs> Funny, I'm so used to doing everything with my left hand now. Sweet buns. Huh? Why don't you share them with Midori? Huh? <laughs> what the hell happened to your hand? And where is Midori? I don't know. What do you <laughs> mean you don't know? I give up, I give up, I give up, I give up! I don't know. I just woke up and my right hand was back. And she had just disappeared. What about her body? Well, her body is back to normal now, isn't it? I don't know. Dumbass! What was that for, you fat cow? You haven't even gone to see her? How can I? Just go and see her. I don't think I can. Man, you sure are a heartless prick. What a letdown. Hey, my allowance! Get it uh, back, uh, you thief! Uh, damn it! Ah, uh, you Get just it. spend it on stupid uh, porn uh, videos. Uh, That's true. Here, catch you later. Hey, the sweet buns! They're not yours anyway. I bought them for Midori.
Seiji, is that you? Hey, Kota. Uh, so, uh, Midori, she... She disappeared from my hand, so I thought I'd, uh, come and check on her. Midori has awakened. She has returned to her own body. Huh? I see. That's good. Everyone is really happy about it. I'll bet. Oh, I almost forgot. Kota, would you mind giving this to Midori for me? What is it? It's her diary. Oh. It looks like she spent a lot of time writing in it every night. Well, why not go in and give it to her yourself? Uh, well, you see, I... Midori has no recollection of what happened while she was asleep. She's forgotten all about the time spent with you. She doesn't remember being your right hand. She's forgotten all about the time spent with you. She doesn't remember being your right hand. I can't... I can't tell the truth. Because Midori might just end up that way again. And it will be all my fault. In that case... Maybe I shouldn't give this back. But Midori... <clears throat> she acts like she wants to be that way with you again. She's got no memory, right? How can you tell she feels that way? I don't know how, but I can tell. I just sense it, okay? Now you're sounding crazy. Weren't you the one who was so interested in getting Midori back to normal again? Now you say she wants to go back to being my right hand? Look, Kota, it's best just to forget about it. Uh, for Midori's sake. Ah, such nice weather. The wind is cold, but the sunlight feels nice and warm. How about we go for a nice walk today? Hmm, maybe I should, Makie. Are you sure? In that case, I think we should go down to the gelato shop. I'll just go change out of these clothes then. <laughs> Seiji, wait! <gasps> Please, don't go! <gasps> Seiji, please! Seiji? you desire that world, it's not your reality. Do you understand? Unless you make changes deep in your heart, you won't be able to find true happiness. Oh. Midori? Midori? Huh? Midori? Where's Seiji? Huh? Well, Midori... Midori, wait! Miss, what is the matter? Midori, you want to go see Seiji, don't you? 
die. Then go, hurry. <gasps> Dory, wait! Please, let her go! Kuta... Please, you've got to let Midori do this. I beg of you. But Kuta... Midori... Excuse me. If I do see Seiji, then, then, then this time I want, want to tell him. I've got to tell him my true feelings. My true feelings. diary. It was so important to you. October 5th. When I woke up this morning, I had become Seiji's right hand. I don't know what's going on, but it's like a dream come true to be together with my beloved Seiji like this. A dream to be with me? Boy, she sure did like saying that. October 20th. Today I went with Seiji and his sister to a spa. I was very happy that I got to hear about when Seiji was young. I keep loving him more and more each day. November 5th. Today I caught a cold. I'm sorry that I've been such a burden to Seiji. November 6th. Right now, I'm very happy. After all, I've realized that I can be useful to Seiji even while I'm like this. November 20th. Seeing the fountain with Seiji is something I'll never forget. Now and forevermore. You came and left so fast. I don't know what to do. You just show up out of nowhere and just disappear on me without even saying goodbye.
him? Now? Uh, you might not know this, <sighs> but... But I... I've watched you for a long time, and I... And I... I... I love you. I do know. <laughs> you know, Midori, you've told me that a thousand times. There's no way. When? When was that? You see... Well, uh, it's hard to explain, but I've watched you too. To be honest, I've watched you for a very long time, but it's not like I had much choice in the matter. Are you serious? You were watching me too? Does that mean... Yeah. Today I was able to summon the courage to confess to Seiji that I've loved him for such a long time. I'm no longer a timid coward. My love and my life has now just begun.